Here we are. It's time. Time. It's happening. <laughs> We're playing WoW well again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I put you through all this. Funny thing is, I'll be playing WoW, but I don't know how long I'll be playing it for because I could play Monster Hunter later, but I kind of don't have a drive to do it right now. I kind of just want to play this. And this is this is where it's like, I have to be careful because things like this will just bring out the, the worst in me in the sense that uh, I'll just uh, play one thing a lot. <laughs> and uh, MMOs are kind of like that. So... Come back as my warrior. He still doesn't have shoulder pads, but he's got a new face and new facial hair. Uh, I went and played at the barber, um, which if you caught the pre-patch stuff I did, I didn't really get to fiddle with that too much. But yeah, we uh, we played around a little bit of human faces. So um, generic white boy face, old man face that's decrepit. We've actually got dark skins uh, for uh, player models now, which is fantastic. More accessibility, though. It is just one... Uh, I suppose there's a little bit of tonal shift, but not too much. Um, there is actually extra tones here, which is better. Um, but there is face structures that are locked in. So this is meant to be like the Asian ones, I guess. Um, but this is the only one with a scar. And you know me, I like me a good scar. Even though the face structure isn't exactly what I want, I'd probably prefer one of this one with a bit more like sunken cheeks with a scar, but it's fine. This this is good. Um, and I got a big old bush, uh, bushy mustache and I changed my hair color to a deep blue, which is cool. But yeah. Otherwise, not much has changed since I last this because I didn't play this character, um, but cleared out some bags, got more bag space. Um, weapons, so I need to put those there. I might sort out my items very quickly. Got a heap of bread question mark um but yeah we got given a quest i logged in earlier just to fix the ui slightly you'll notice now the ui is not sort of floating and stuff so it's a bit better um interesting we don't have an xp bar hang on i need to turn my xp bar on gonna need that you were home alone today and you were resisting temptation to order food and get uh, go to the store and get snacks. We don't have any snacks in the house. I like used, we ate the last of them um, when we went on our trip. <laughs> so, uh, no, I don't want, I want bartender. There may be, we may run into some mod issues because uh, a lot of it's probably updated, but then there's might be some stuff that's weird. Speaking of which, I probably actually should have done a mod check before I started the stream, but I <laughs> completely, completely forgot to do that. So, um, we might, we might be okay. DJ, DJ, the expansion's out. Hey, Jay, what? How you going? Um, am I blind? Where's my XP bar? Uh, status, no. Oh, I hate, they've changed, they've changed some of the mods in a way that I don't really like, and now I don't know where I'm looking. One that's for XP, and I don't know where it is. Because I got these, like I got Proudmore. Is it on, is it underneath the artifact power? I don't give a shit about artifact power. How do I stop tracking artifact power and track, uh, my, uh, it's just under status tracking. Status tracking? Visibility. <clears throat> there was an update. I don't have the... Oh, you don't have the expansion. Shit, I forgot about that, CJ. I'll have to do this journey without you. I really it's not spoilers for you. You can, live, you can live vicariously through me. You got the game for you? Minecraft? <laughs> we might play Minecraft one day on stream. I haven't played it yet. Um... Hardcore Minecraft? And it's pretty hardcore. Yeah, that's weird. Okay. Can't see how to turn off particular bars. So hopefully it'll just kick in and allow me to have a my XP bar. But, uh, looks like Darian's here. Um, you gotta edit your podcast anyway? Shit ton of music. Wow, sorry I'm not too fast. Alright. So. Last thing that happened 
was uh the world was shattered the roof was shattered there was a uh do you want to watch the cinematic again I, we could watch the cinematic but i feel like you could also watch the previous one that's a mecha dragon i've never seen this before this is completely new to me person's just got a mechanical dragon um because I could go out and we could watch the tra watch the cinematic, but I feel like it's going to explain a few things. But I'll, I'll do a brief explanation. Uh, basically, the roof of the world, Northern Ice Crown, has been shattered because uh, the Helm of Domination is was actually the link between this world and the previous world uh, and the uh, underworld, which. Is known as the Shadowlands. This is where all the dead souls go to in war in, throughout the galaxy. Um, however, now there's a portal directly on top of this planet. <laughs> um, and one of the... The leader of the Horde, Sylvanas, has betrayed everything in existence. For whatever reason. We still don't quite know why. Um, and uh, she has gone and taken key members of... Uh, Oh, so someone's actually talking to this guy. So, that is actually uh, Darian Mograine, who's now the leader of the Death Knights. Um, and he is working under High Lord Bolvar Four Dragon, who became the next Lich King. Thank you water. I will need water. I will be doing a lot of talking today. So, we'll be doing a lot of catch up. So, basically, Roof of the World shattered. And the man that was uh, between us and the uh, the underlife or the afterlife has been defeated. Oh wow, we're actually going to Ice Crown. As you can see, the roof of the world is shattered. <laughs> Alright, see Joe, what? Bolvar believes he knows where the Banshee has taken those she abducted. He awaits you at the Frozen Throne. The leaders of the Alliance and Horde have gathered with him. I'm gonna so, uh, spend so much uh, time- uh, I'm gonna spend so long on lore when I cave and have to buy it later tonight. <laughs> I'll have to catch up in no time. Oh. So this used to be a raid for us. Called the Frozen Throne. Or Ice Crown Citadel. But uh... Now it's going to be a hub of sorts, it seems. Ooh, there's like new... These structures, these are new. So, it looks like a lot of key figures are here. These are troubled times. Our people oh, look, there's stability. Miranda, she actually appeared. We cannot risk sending Azeroth's leaders on what might well be a suicide mission. Our friends who were abducted would offer the same counsel. Coward! I would pay any price to see the Banshee impaled upon my glaive. I too want Sylvanas to answer for her crimes. But Lorthamar is right. Anduin wouldn't want us to risk the well-being of the Alliance for his sake. The Kaldori need you if they are to have any hope of finding peace, High Priestess. You dare speak to me of peace? After the atrocities your kind inflicted? Light's blessing. I like Callie is the only one not turning against them. Wait. You have my Everyone's just everyone's just chill and hanging. Okay, alright. So <laughs> for, again for those who don't know, <laughs> there's two factions in WoW, the Horde and the Alliance. Key members of both the Horde and the Alliance have been taken to the afterlife. While still being alive. Um, that's weird. Why am I neutral to the first Arcanist? That's strange. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm on the Alliance side this time around. And uh, the... Oh, Gazlow. I forgot Gazlow has now become a, like the leader of the goblins. That's awesome. I hope Gazlow gets his own model. He's very cool. Been around for a long time. Also, Rokan still hasn't really got a unique model. <laughs> Was there much to download? Um, no, no, CJ, I don't think it was too much. I wasn't really paying attention. Is the Trade King dead? I, no, he's not dead. He, he just got ousted um, from memory. Um, I might be wrong. I'm fairly sure uh, 
Gallywix is still alive somewhere. But yes, this is the Helm of Domination. Um, it was paired to the Lich King's armor, which is what uh, Bolvar is wearing, kind of. Um, and uh, it's completely shattered, and its shattering has caused everything we see above, which is a hole in the sky. This is Bolvar Four Dragon, the last Lich King. He's now the leader of the uh, Knight of the Ebon's Blades, and uh, he's eternally on fire. <laughs> That happened during Wrath of the Lich King, where dragons tried to prevent his uh, death from uh, evil poison that was caused, strangely enough, by Sylvanas. Um, and uh, he's now immortal, um, it seems. He just burns forever. But uh, he was a pretty cool dude. Cool dude in death as well. And uh, now uh, he's going to be our liaison to the realm of the afterlife. Hopefully that makes sense. A lot of shit happening. There's a, a lot of wear lore. If you don't know what's going on, there's a lot to catch up on. I don't really like Bolvar's new voice, though, I will say. When Sylvanas shattered the Helm of Domination, it's touched the power of the sky. Blah, blah, blah. So I, I feel like I should move myself. Hang on, we'll, we'll move my little self. You want to see, if you want to see any of the text, the bottom left hand side will have the text if you miss it. Hey Taco! I came for the milky juice. Oh no. The influence of Prince. Alright, well, I'm guessing oh, this is weird. Oh wow, I'm actually pulling these apart. Where am I pulling this? Oh, there. Oh, this is just so we can do lore. It's making us do slow motion so we get lore. How's it going? It's going pretty good. The WoW expansion just came out, so we're doing the initial of it. Came out about four hours ago. So there's a lot of people already ahead of me. That's okay though. We're, we're, this, we're not going to take it too serious. Even free of the helm, I fear I would become bound to the will of its true master. But this threat cannot be left unchecked. All right. So basically, I already know a lot of extra lore about this because of the fact that I'm a crazy person and I've read all this stuff up. But uh, the uh. Basically, Bolvar's just insinuating that the helm was never really under the control of the Lich King. It was under the control of someone called the Jailer. Um, he doesn't know who he is really too much. No one really does. But we will learn about him. Alright. I wish I was playing my Death Knight. I'm, I wanted. To, I want to play my Death Knight off off stream. This is this is just going to be just showing it off. But uh, my my Death Knight is a, a, he was the last he was the previous leader of the Knights of the Ebon Blade. So um, these all these people were technically my minions at one point. Yeah, so we never knew how we were going to get there. I was actually thinking about something. Um, you think you're playing Monster Hunter World? Oh, cool. I might play it later, Taco. I'm not sure. We'll see how long I'll, I'll play this. This may become an all-day thing at, at one rate. I'm not sure. Um, but here we go. We're going. Are we ready, guys? Your courage will be remembered, champion. Oh, they're not coming with us. Oh, shit. Oh, it's just us. Only us. We're, whoa, I thought that the other faction leaders might come with us. Because we don't know if we're going to make it. Oh, look. Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay, so Trinder's going. Is any other... Is any of the Horde members? Oh, look at that load screen. What the fuck is that thing? There was like a weird... Whoa, hello. Oh, we're landing like fragments. Interesting. Oh, what are these? So it looks like we landed in Maldraxxus, maybe. 
Sup, mother cluckers? It's me with my sword. So I'm not wearing a full transmog right now. I'm, I'm kind of in a weird armor state. I'm literally going to... I'm going to wear everything I get and we can look exactly how the game wants me to look. But, yeah. I doubt this mission could succeed without you. I agree, Darian. No sign yet of the High Priestess. Perhaps she charged ahead into the chaos. So it looks like Taranda is somewhere out here too. So Taranda did come with us. But Taranda is currently consumed by the thought that she wants to destroy Sylvanas, the one that caused this atrocity, because of the atrocity she caused previously while Warchief, which was she burned down an entire homeland um, uh, of Teldrastil, a giant tree that housed uh, thousands upon thousands of elves, um, or even more, but, uh, yeah. What did I just get given? I get a horn of sorts. Alright, so we're working with Darien. Guess we're, oh, we're rallying, uh, Death Knights. So where are we? Are we in the moor? Oh, look, is I, is that, is that Maldraxxus or, uh, not Maldraxxus. Is that something else? Oh, what the fuck's happening over here? So, one big thing about this game is, um... <clears throat> it now kind of looks like... It reminds me, looking at it, very similar to, say... What the fuck is that? The Magister. Um, it reminds me a lot of looking at, like, Diablo. And the Diablo team doesn't really exist anymore, so... It does make me wonder whether or not, like, the Diablo team moved over to WoW to help with this expansion. The content shouldn't be too hard. Leveling content's usually pretty easy. Um, we're gonna try and rally as many of these peeps as we can. Um, I haven't set up a whole heap of hotkeys. I, I'd left it. I probably should have done that, but... Can't mount here. In the moor. Okay. It, your mount your mount ignores your call within the moor. That's interesting. We've never seen that tagline before. Um, so I can't actually mount here, which is fun. Um, need to save one more knight. What's this? Carrying blade. We need to kill more, more force ones. More swans? Force ones. Hey Angel, you've got enough for two exercises. Oh no. I think I don't know if I've got it. I don't know if I've got it set to you can only ex request it once a stream or if it's like, um, I don't know if I've got it. It's it's once per stream or if it's like, um, uh, two per stream. But it's everyone can do multiple. I think maybe. <laughs> Which will destroy the heck out of me. The Crucible of the Damned. Alright. No mounting, which means we're just going to have to charge our way through this. This is where it's like, it gets funny because it's like, I didn't know, I don't know how like interesting and wow is to watch in some ways. This is the new cloth. Lightless silk. Um, but, uh... Visually, this game's pretty fucking stunning, so... I'll try and look at all the cool shit. That's what we'll do. As I nerd out over all the lore that's gonna happen. Um. <clears throat> and try and skip mobs. I don't need to kill extra shit. It's not great for XP. Oh. Someone must have just killed this mob over here. We need. Doomed soul. So one of the funny things <laughs> about this is, uh, one of the funny things is about this is of all the souls, you'll notice there's a lot of like recognizable races, which is, is funny to me. Um, just spin. Always put iron shackles on me. Hey, Warlock. Hey, Gun. Um, just pop some cooldowns. Not that this thing's gonna last that long. Rally? Okay, we're gonna go rally. You just uh, made it. Uh, 
You made it in. Just finished streaming this starting sequence. Oh, really? How did, did you like it? What did you think, Warlock? It's interesting that I, uh, they've actually gone for like that looks like crystallized spirits rather than it just being energy. It's not like a, it's a solid thing. Oh. Definitely. Um, do not, don't I have a move that heals me once I, like... Yeah, Victory Rush. I, I need to use Victory Rush. Alright, we're now at a point that I probably will start caring less about the lore just that they're presenting because they're gonna just start throwing, like, mob encounters with us and it'll just be, go do the mob encounter. It's less lore heavy when you get to this point in the game, so it's... Looks like the work of our friend, the Lord Admiral. The conflict seems to Lord Admiral. Direction. We should follow the trail before it grows cold. What the fuck? What is this? More of oh, as in Jaina. Oh, wait, what? Jaina? We're going to find Jaina. Oh, what the fuck is that? Whoa! Ambivalent Stygia Coalescence. Wow. Oh, look at this thing. It's like a shadow dragon. Oh. Oh, it's a Forge of Souls. Like the dragon. I don't want to go near it. It's it's big and a level 55 elite. Which is, I'm only level 50, by the way. Jaina! Oh, cool. All right, we, we get to side with Jaina straight away. I'm cool with that. I don't know if- I wonder if that's different- I wonder if this is the Alliance. I wonder if the Horde find, uh, like, Thrall. Because Thrall and Jaina will probably have to be the two halves. Oh, Thrall's right here! Thrall! I will manage. Thank you for yes, if we get to have Thrall and Jaina together, I'll be so happy. What? They found us. Be ready. What's coming? I don't- I don't see what's coming for us. Oh, here they come. Is that guy we saw before, the big Gangel. Dragon, dragon, lick a dragon, dragon ball Z. Lick the dragon balls. Blizz is a fa- uh, Thrall is a Blizz favorite, he gets a new model every week. I mean, his current model kind of sucks, so I hope he actually gets a new model again. <laughs> but uh, I'm okay with that, Thrall is a fantastic character. Thrall is green Jesus, and I'm okay with this. <laughs> no, no, you don't need to clip that. That's okay, CJ. I'm okay if you guys show restraint sometimes of not clipping everything I see. <laughs> and I'm glad I went and got this sword when we, uh, last week, CJ. It'll help with this, uh, this initial part. Because armor, not so much I don't really care about, but the weapon definitely makes a big difference on it, especially on melee classes. So... We're overrun. I'm getting us out of here. I don't know if we're overrun. I'm doing alright. Oh, hello. Left some mere images behind to keep them distracted. The illusion won't hold for long. Hurry! I know what must be... Siding with uh, Jane is pretty fucking cool. Um, I, I kind of... Fixing Jaina in the last expansion and then checking, um, checking, uh, bringing Thrall back makes me very happy. I want these two to be together. I just want these two to have adventures together. Green Moses, I thought. Ah, Green Jesus. For remaining unnoticed. Let's hurry. Jaina also looking very old. <laughs> He's aged so much. Escaped before. Indeed. I've broken free countless times. Only to end up back in the cage. What? We've hidden inside this cave before. We can't stay long, but it should buy us a Wait, time. sorry, hang on. Jaina has been broken. Okay, so I wonder if that's insinuating Okay, alright. This might be insinuating something. Um, so Jaina was referring to that she's broken free many times. There's a thing that they've kind of talked about with, like, in 
that time might progress differently here. Like, time might actually be faster here. Like, the more... Hey Wheeler, how you going? Is Jaina Thrall your OTP? Definitely not. Thrall has a wife and a child. But uh... I do, I think that they are a fun combination of characters. Because Jaina and Thrall stand as the... The path that changes. Whoa, look at that like structure in the background. Because uh... Thrall exists as the modern horde and uh jaina exists as the uh, modern alliance in terms of the two races that have always been duking it out for so long and now they can be side by side like it's it, race doesn't matter and uh yeah well we're gonna mess this boy up oh <laughs> wheeler I, be, I might refund that for you. Um, that's a lot of points. So what that's for is uh, when I have um, something on me, like when people like put a hat on me or we put a little costume on, and uh, it would take it off. Um, because some people really don't like certain ones, and I'm like, oh, I'll give you the ability to remove things that are obnoxious. Um, but hang on. When you first arrived, I wasn't sure if you were even real. Where did it go? If you were just another illusion meant to torment us. I was beginning to lose hope. Alright, so this color palette I'm expecting to be very predominant in this. Yes. Alright, this is some food. So we may as well buy food here. 16,000 health over 20 seconds versus... Wait, wait. This sourdough I've got is much better than this. This is only 9,000 health. Why would you want to buy that? This is just straight up better and it's a lower level. Like all the food from the previous expansion is better than this. We are done here. I will do what I can. A single spark can set the world aflame. Very well. <laughs> now you can you can waste your points on something other silly. From what I have gathered, it was intended as a prison for the most foul, irredeemable souls that ever existed. Is that why you're in here, Jaina? Something has changed. Oh, I thought that was a... I, that's just a, another player. Indeed. And one of their Dynamius. And ours is Sylvanas Windrunner. It seems she has made a powerful ally. The shades whisper of someone called the Jailer. Alright, so I know a lot about the Jailer already. But uh, in-game, we're not meant to know really about the Jailer. So this is the man who seems to rule this area. And Jaina is sided with him. He has taken a special interest in us. He has personally overseen our treatment. <coughs> we have endured countless torments. At times, it felt as if we were being tested. Though, for what purpose, I cannot say. That's interesting. Whatever Didn't know that. And the Banshee are planning. So, they have vested interest in the heroes of Azeroth. And they never grabbed us though, they only grabbed uh, the leaders, so... There's Bane. Control your power. Also, I don't... is Jaina making these illusions? This is weird. Jaina is very powerful now, by the way. If you guys don't know, Jaina is probably the most powerful mage on Azeroth. I can only manage to teleport short distances. This nightmare feels inescapable. Countless souls are now pouring into this realm. Some have been here for untold ages. Perhaps one of them knows a way out. I can scarcely imagine the horrors such spirits have endured. I fear there's nothing left of them to save. They manifest as malevolent shades that wander the darkness. I doubt they'd willingly help us. Knights of the Ebon Blade have ways Look at its to face. The <laughs> if we seize one of them, we can extract its secrets. The time for dreaming is over. We are driven by a single purpose. Alright. 
Let's continue our uh, adventures. You've ever played WoW? It's surprising it, how many people have actually said this because this game to me is like... I can't remember, I was talking to someone the other day where it was like, you haven't played this? Oh my god! And it's like, many things I, I kind of understand when they're talking about because it it's like... Like, what, why would people have played that? It seems weird. But uh, something like this, this is like, this is a game that was impossibly big. It's still extremely big too. But um, yeah. Use the helm, it's weakened. Okay, oh, we're using Helm of Domination. Wait, we're using the Shattered Helm of Domination. Wow, this is super weird. Okay, so we're just collecting shades, I guess. Is it addicting? Um... Yeah, I guess it, kind, it is for some people. Um, I would say it is for me. <laughs> it's it's one of those games, it's kind of like an open world game where it's, it's just kind of endless. There's just so much content to do in WoW. And there's so many different ways to do it. And there's all the different classes. You've got social interactions. There's just a lot here to just... You can have it as one of those games that you can just keep playing and playing and playing and playing. Uh, which can be a good thing and a bad thing. Some people, like, loathe that and really hate that they have a situation. Also, I just realized there is barely anyone near me. For a game that just... An expansion that just came out, I can't see anyone around me. There's like a couple other people, and I don't know if this is a weird instancing thing, but this is not usual. When I've when a, a game, an MMO releases its expansion, it doesn't matter what server it's on, it's usually pretty fucking busy. So this is kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know if um Warlock is still there, but I'm actually curious. Like, is was this the same for everyone else? Like. It's nothing to watch, bro. What do you mean? Oh, you're 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 welcome to leave, Jaywatt. I'm not going to change game, by the way. <laughs> Editing audio, yeah. I will say, that was the thing that's uh, it's funny about this game, because I, I kind of wanted to do this because I was curious how this is going to approach this, and this is just straight up, like, um... <laughs> you never bored with me? Oh, thank you, Wheeler. Um... I should have punched that. Actually, I need to get my short keys set up, because I don't... I can't have... I haven't got interrupts on anything. Um... Alright, we're catching a big ghost. This is my new big ghost fella. Mine now. You just bored in general. You're coming with us. Well, we're just <laughs> all right. You're coming with us. He's ours now. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, I was saying that it's like this games like this MMOs. I think are interesting in terms of like, like, I don't know quite know who would watch them. Like, I don't think I'd ever watch a person streaming an MMO. The only reason, again, I'm doing this is because this will be a lot of raw reaction, and, like, to me that's interesting. There's a lot of interesting new shit that's happening in this expansion that's worth discussing and checking out, in my opinion, but it's a very, very small minority of people, especially of my audience, that would probably be interested in something like this. But, that's why this has been reserved for Strange Surprises. Um, strange Surprises is the space where we just do some weird shit. <laughs> Can you give me 10,000 points? I can't give points, uh, J-Watch. j, -watch. j -watch, uh, points is just straight up, you can only be earned by watching. I, not even I have the power to do that. Let's see. Alright, well there's a bridge over that way, we'll head to the bridge. It's a little annoying because I, I can't even sprint. Because you're at 99,000. What? <laughs> How are you on 99,000? DJ's doing his, uh, I think he's doing, um, I think he's doing his, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, podcast edits. DJ's 
CJ's Big Stinky Podcast, that's what it's called. I do wish that I could mount or do something or sprint. Wow, whoa, hang on, sorry, wait, can this hurt me? Oh my god, they actually- what? No way! What? For real, have they got the Diablo team working on this? Why have they got floor traps? Ow. Don't shoot me, bro. Huh. That's new. I can literally jump over that, so I don't really care, but whatever. I'm almost at night. So yeah, I believe that, CJ. You're actually pretty high now. You're at like... You're at 70,000 men? <laughs> I... You better th you think wisely. What what are you gonna turn? The, what are you gonna make me play? I am curious. What was it that like hentai game that you said you were gonna make me play? That wouldn't happen. This really does look like Diablo. It's I this is just super weirding me out now. Oh, you'll see. I'm worried. The problem is it needs to be something either I have or something I can easily get. Whoa, shit! What the fuck? It's Sylvanas. <laughs> oh, it's Anduin. We cannot let the world fall to darkness. You won't succeed. Such. Oh, Sylvanas got a new model. You disappoint me. No matter. We will find what we. Sylvanas see. is looking bigger, like taller and chunkier. Anduin, how badly are you hurt? Anduin's got a new face. What does he? I can't tell. He look he looks like he's got more model structure in his mouth. We must find a way to free him. They must know that we were here. Otherwise, Sylvanas wouldn't just leave Anduin like this. This seems weird. This seems like a trap. Okay, yeah. Oh, I think someone killed the mob that I needed. Yeah, someone killed the mob I needed. Alright, we'll kill this one. <laughs> hey KO, do you ever show a non palico face cam? Nah. This is my face. This is my face, Will. I have cat face. I, I need I need cat face. That's how I need to respond to questions like <laughs> I need the cat face of uh, thing. Alright, don't steal my don't steal my releases. Never mind. Oh uh, no, you need to get extra keys. Shit. Alright, we're gonna be doing this for a while, I guess. Can we do this in the entire region? Adfiscator's key. Oh shit, I forgot about these. I'm mysterious like Samurai. Apparently the face of Samurai does exist out there. Um, I don't know if he's uploaded it to YouTube, but apparently he did used to have face cam at one point. Yamawai. <laughs> okay. Oh, what? I didn't get a key. Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna pull a shit ton of mobs now. Here. I'm gonna speed up this process. Uh, I may have stuffed up because I thought I had blade storm, but I didn't. Been to win, baby. And I've seen Quasar's. I know what Samurai looks like. Apparently, he looks. He's kind of like. What did What did Pixie say? Pixie had a way of describing him that I thought was funny. Samurai. <laughs> That's poggers. That's the thing. By the way, playing this is very easy. I, I literally can turn my brain off playing WoW. I can super duper talk over this game easy. Yeah. 
<laughs> you god, you're a nerd. You know it, yeah. I couldn't help myself. I, I just, I needed to play this. I needed to know, what what's all the hype about? What is WoW about? I wanted to know, what is WoW truly about? Let's just spin here. I'd like to picture him as a stained wife beater shit with a, a quad X. Oh, I, I'm trying to remember, did Pixie describe him? He kind of looked like just a generic, like he, not a generic. She would never say that about her samurai. But uh, a, a, like a Queenslander Bogana kind of look, maybe? I don't know. I might be wrong. You want badass Polycoat streamer? <laughs> Thanks, Wheeler. I don't know about badass would be a way to describe me. You're the I'm the biggest nerd here, probably. Nah, nerd is contextual. <laughs> I know like the most like jockey looking dudes ever that are massive nerds. <clears throat> He's not generic. He's not generic. You've seen him, Wheeler? He's pretty generic. If I if I thought if I think about samurai, I'd just imagine the most like stereotypical white dude a bit like me that's a good way to describe me actually <laughs> Vin Diesel's a big nerd that's true he is he's also very strange him being on strange is really really strange like just so bizarre you want to bully me now I mean you can go for it go for it Al as a person that's played WoW for how long is this this is the 16th anniversary so for a person who's been playing WoW for 16 years I've probably heard it all if you've ever seen also the type of people talking in chat in WoW, everyone is, there's a lot of self-loathing that goes on in here. According to Pixie, oh, I'm, I'm, already, I'm ready for a, a Pixie identification. Picture your average craft beer drinker, that's basically me. But we, <laughs> BJ though, we know what you look like. You stream. We've seen your face. We've seen. I've seen everyone but Al here. I think. I haven't seen Kaol either. Your one little cutie Palico streamer. <laughs> I don't know about that either. I don't know what I'd like to be described as. I've had a lot of people like talk about how like one I'm wholesome and two it's like uh how do I phrase it uh sophisticated I don't know I wouldn't say that but uh <laughs> certainly wouldn't describe myself as a as a tough dude or a soft dude I'm somewhere in between you said you kind of look like spooky I do kind of look like spooky hurry before the guards return uh hang on so the key that we need is up there so we're gonna go up there Hey yo! Not gonna lie, I'm happy I don't show my face anymore. Wait, did you have yourself on face cam at one point, Al? I don't know if I saw that. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like you don't really need to. It's one of those funny things. You're doing something. That's okay. That's a good thing about streaming is uh, you guys, you guys aren't locked to the keyboard like me. You will be broken. Oh, I just realized the Heart of Azeroth is no longer working. I can't use the Heart of Azeroth. Interesting. You like being on face cam? Yeah, some people some people like it, some people don't. I, I actually wouldn't I think I wouldn't mind it. It's because I am kind of expressive. But uh it's one of those things where it's just easier for me not to. Can I jump off and I just die here? I wonder how many people are going to fall off this fucking place. I never had face cam, but my face is all over my socials. Oh, okay. The person's name Propane. It lets me emote more. So fucking on shiny on stream. Oh, he's bald head. <laughs> That's the thing. I don't understand these spikes, by the way. You can literally run between them. But, uh... Interesting, they've got traps, so that might come up later in the game. Um, 
but uh yeah uh i think it's it, i think it's somewhat nice to have the uh, face to associate it to voice it's also fun to imagine what they look like i actually kind of like the reverse in a sense which is like you hear the voice for a long period of time and then see the face and then it'd be like oh cool and then you just accept it it doesn't matter what the fuck they look like because you have just already got the personal connection between you wait Oh, I thought we got out for a sec there, but it was no, we're just teleporting somewhere else. Um, Thank you. <laughs> It'll feel good to be back at full strength. Oh wow, Anduin still straight up can heal people, but he can still call the light here. That's cool. Um, where it's like you've already associated and you like the person because of their face, your interaction, all that. You've gotten past all the stupid visual situations, so you've you see them and then you just accept them. That's just really how it is. Like. I feel like it'd be very rare for people to reject them. You're actually at work right now, but yeah, pretty chill. That sounds good. If you're if you're having a chill time at work, I like the idea that you can just um relax as well, um, like and watch a stream at work. I wish I wish I could do that. I I used to do that. One of my jobs, I got to do that, and uh yeah, it's a waystone at the cauldron. I don't know why his name is like split in two colors. When I was on my old brand, I plastered my face everywhere, and then I went through some issues, and I'm like, nah, not showing my face anymore, not revealing my ID anymore. It, I, I, I think you don't, totally don't need to, Al. It really, 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 really don't need to. Like, the only place I've thought about where it might be a thing is, like, if I wanted to interact with, say, the Twitch community in a physical presence at, say, like, PAX or something like that, or I wanted to meet viewers, or something like that, like, there's a disassociation with me, like, people won't know what I look like. Um, but that's okay. Like it's it's one of those things that you can work around, and it's not necessary. Like I always uh, like seeing face cams, but it's not crazy important. Yeah, I think I think it's interesting because so many people are just so like, oh, so you're gonna ever do it? And it's like, mm. people people are gonna do what they're gonna do, and some people haven't made up their decision as to how they actually want to approach a lot of that stuff. And for me, it's still early days, but. Um, yeah. Samurai <clears throat> with that deep ass voice, next minute sounding he's some twink looking small boy. I can't imagine he'd be a twink small boy. I I know it's funny because I know a few people that have deep voices like Samurai. Um and uh They mostly are just normal looking nerd dudes. <laughs> My last shift, I got paid $37 an hour to eat a burger and drink a pint of beer. DJ's living the life. What? Whoa, what the fuck? No. Oh, what the fuck? It's Hellia. What? I heard you were soundly beaten by a force of wretched champions, witch. You will pay for that insult. The skies of your world will be darkened by the So this makes sense. But it's interesting that she's in the moor. Alright, let's fuck up Helia. Yeah. <laughs> Thrall gives no shits. Axes her in the face. What's going on? Alright, well, let's get out of here because we're having sapped of our strength. Where the fuck did we go? Over this way? I have a face cam because I want people to see my quad stick. I, I, I'm again, e Wheeler. I'm, I'll, I'm, just the knowledge that you—that's how you play—still astounds me, and I'm super impressed. Cause like, wait, what the fuck? That's Bane, and that's a Jailer. Bane. Oh please don't, please don't let Bane be dead or something. Oh please, please, please. Oh good, he's like it. I believe I have. In a place very far from here. What? What what is Thrall talking about? It's like the Shadow Moon. No. Are they gonna refer to the fact that the Shadow Moon magic well, is actually from the Moor? No, they wouldn't do that. That'd be fucking crazy. I, I didn't know that bit of lore now. Okay, that's interesting. 
I think the quad stick is good to, uh, is a good draw too. I remember the first time I saw using one on the PS2. Gets them in. Yeah, I'm I'm crazy impressed, Wheeler, with what you can do. Um. Uh, just with I, because for me it's like I I can't I prefer controller and when I'm playing a game like that's just my preferred version of input. When I'm playing certain games such as shooters and stuff, mouse and keyboard, but for you you're always going to have to use a method such as that and like you can become a master of it and that just it is very impressive it's an awesome device i guess i'm caveman now why are you a caveman <laughs> it's awesome device <laughs> awesome device i like the boat dungeon in legion but oh the the one with hellia I think Hell yeah, Hell yeah had some pretty cool stuff. I just wish that it got approached a bit better, I guess. Um, what the fuck are you talking about, the Shadow Moon? So the Shadow Moon clan are a clan of orcs um, that used magic, which they called upon something called the Dark Star. And we didn't quite know what it was. And we just assumed that it was somewhat maybe relative to void magic. Um, but we never really had a clear indication as to what it was and how it worked and stuff like that. Um, Warlords of Draenor tried to expand upon that, but it still didn't seem exactly like void magic. It seemed like something else. The idea that it could be actually undeath on more magic, which I don't know if is considered undead magic. Um, I don't know what it is now. Like, it, that's curious to me. Um, I, I still think it'd be closer to akin to uh, void because shadow, shadow is mostly void. But uh, yeah, I'm a little confused now. Also, fire. We're getting color back. Yeah, it's crazy impressive even for you. You impress yourself. I'm glad you do, because it's... This must be the I, I, I'll put it this way, Bane's Wheeler. The, your stings. fucking Game & Watch, if, if you told people that you were using an input method like that, I don't think people would believe you straight away. You were, like, fucking up, a, like, fucking us up, and, like, it's... It's one of those things that, like, becoming accustomed to something like that allows you to still be on, like, a same input method level as us, I guess. Where's the Simpson meme of Homer yelling nerd? Don't worry, Al. I do that all the time. I literally drive past places and yell nerd at people. Friends, mostly. Not, not random strangers in the street, but... Nerd. I'm curious, actually, Wheeler. How long did how long have you been using that uh, that setup? Because I I think I remember when we f you first joined one of my streams. I remember us talking about um, input devices and how there's a lot more. There's a lot more accessibility that's happening over the past, I, mean, I want to say five to five years maybe or more, and the idea of um, uh, it's becoming more standard in the video game industry to have more accessibility options and have more, like, because video games and things like this shouldn't be necessarily uh, an inhibited thing if you can't do things with standard, it's like you having either a like colorblind, or you have some people have close sightness. Like I, there was um, as uh, one or two streamers have seen now, where it's like they need to basically sit right in front of the screen. Um, uh, whether or not you can't like some people, it's like they might only have one hand. Um, like in Wheeler's case, where he, he can't use his hands. Like it's it's one of those things where it's like having it so we can all enjoy these pieces of entertainment. Um, in a way that's just, uh, we can just have escapism. It's, I think that's just, it's just amazing. And I want, I want more of that. I should probably have interrupted that. But, uh, I ran away. <clears throat> I'm making fun of you all for caring this much about lore, but the moment I've streamed Borderlands again, I'll be like complaining about the lore of the game. Border, yeah, Borderlands lore. What are you talking about, Ali? Now that's some nerdy shit. Who talks about Borderlands lore? I'll be honest, I did used to actually as well. I actually kind of liked it. Still got a bit silly. 
Um, it's funny when people don't believe me. I was getting destroyed last night on Smash Online. Don't worry, the warriors come out in Smash. Wheeler. As you've probably seen on my streams, like, I, I'm good at Smash. But I'm not, I'm not online warrior levels of Smash. But lore doesn't exist. You've been using it for a year? Only a year? Holy crap! That's such a short period of time, Wheeler. I, I would have assumed a lot longer just in terms of like, uh, your capabilities with it. Very adapt with it. Uh, how the fuck do I get through here? I guess we need Jaina. Um, Assassin's Creed Valhalla forces you, uh, through a few pages of accessibility options before you even get to the main menu. Oh really? Interesting. That's cool. I feel like a lot of- okay, so here's the thing. I feel like there's a two way with this where I'm about to go with this sort. One, that's fucking fantastic. One, that's AAA companies doing the right thing and setting up that stuff. Two, there is a degree of that where it kind of feels like there is a bit of a... Uh, how do I describe this? Like, it kind of feels like they're doing the suck up notice me thing. But even if there is a negative premise around the reason why they're doing it, and they're or they're trying to make more sales and stuff like that, it doesn't matter because it's something beneficial. It's something that people need, and they're doing the right thing by uh, initiating it. So even if it's 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 not quite honest in terms of like why they want it. Limited range. Oh, why don't you go? Go. Oh no, we're in the cocky rust. Kairos. So you want to try Borderlands? Borderlands is the two is the best game hands down. Borderlands the three is the most fun attention. the series has ever gone play. I haven't played three yet. I kind of want to play it. To be forged into weapons for the jailer. Despite all Sylvanas has done, I never thought she'd be part of something like this. Yes, this barrier will protect us. Why, why did we get pulled out of stealth there? I don't really know what happened there. It's like a mini Forge of Souls. Why are we fighting now? Why did Jaina like just get, give up at a certain point there? Play three. I'll send you guns. I will. I'll have to play it on stream at some point. And people were saying though that one of the things was like the writing felt probably the worst it had ever been. Like it was just frustrating. But uh, I don't know. I hate it when games don't let me turn on subtitles before they start. Yeah, I have the same issues, CJ. I like subtitles a lot. I, um, especially when I'm streaming, because I don't have to. I have to concentrate on many things at once. Um, but I just, I just like subtitles generally. Um, especially because I play a lot of things in Japanese too. I haven't bought, played Borderlands Three yet either. Loved all two except for the Tiny Tiny Tina DLC, but that's not the game's fault. I feel like, um, yeah, Borderlands became like a funny thing to me. I love it, but at the same time, it just... Something started pushing me out of it, and I don't know if it was like... me growing out of the humor, or me not really liking having the gameplay styling, or not really expanding on it very well, or... I don't know. It just kind of felt like the same thing for a little bit. Isn't that wild? A year before the quad stick, I never thought I'd be able to play video games again, but now I'm playing them better than I ever imagined. I... I... yeah. I'm, I'm so glad you found something like that. Wheeler. I think that it's super cool. Just cause is always worth I've talked about it before. There's a there's a um there's a uh Broly legs. If you want to look him up, Broly legs. He's a Street Fighter um player who I think he's he's I think he's fully quadru uh, I want to say quad quadruplegic. Is that that's not the right word? He's um basically he can't use any of his limbs basically, um but he he's a professional Street Fighter player who wins tournaments and is extremely well known for his Chun-Li and he he plays uh, with the, the quad, I think it's like a quad stick as well, I think he plays with something similar um, and I yeah, I he very very well known and it proves that it's like it's not, there's like there's things like that and not necessarily a limit if you have the right accessibility options. What? Okay. 
So we've done something impressive, I guess. The Jailer has been surprised. I wasn't expecting to do something so early to surprise the Jailer. So we are something special. We've activated a relic of the first ones. So the first ones, this is the first time we've ever heard of them. Um, there was insinuations to the existence of something like this at one point or another, but we don't really know. And we, so, okay. Wow, Lord time. Here we go. Um, so, uh, in WoW lore, we always thought that the Titans were the creators of the universe, the creators of all everything. In fact, they seem to be just the balancers. The they are the ones that have forged what we know as the identity of the existence of the universe right now. They, they, they took things, they took the clay and they molded it in areas. But not all life, some life. However, there seemingly is a existence that was before the the titans now and uh it seems like the jailer might be one of them question mark and we are interacting with relics of a world before a world so yeah don't know meanwhile i'll just be spinning here with my greatsword <clears throat> Can you play Borderlands uh, on PC? Yeah, you play it on. I, I play it on PC. Um, it's on all systems but the Switch. Yeah. Oh, there's a there, oh, there's a jailer. There's a big old army. Hello, I have a relic. Do you want it? Something's wrong. I like that mask. Seems the waste tone has stopped charging. The stone responds to you, champion. Try to activate it while we hold off the jailer's army. Let's go. Where are we going? Nothing escapes the law. Everyone in with me, quick. I like that they've got good like sort of uh mouth rigging now. They've stopped their advance. What the fuck is that? Oh more chains. The light stopped the jailer's powers. Go, champion. Go. Wow, this is a good dramatic moment. The, uh, the writing and the action has gotten better. He's got like Death Knight eyes as well. The weird creature on the left hand side, I don't know what that is. So, okay. This is where we're going to take a bit of a turn now, so I'll explain more after this. But I, I want to catch up on chat. Oh, that's bad. Oh, this this is bad. Okay. Um, the Moor's power does linger upon them, but I sense... No, that cannot be possible. All right, well, we'll I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that in a sec. All right. Uh, Tiny Tina DLC is far behind my friends who have apparently played it without telling me and it would scale back for combat I did and sit back and wait. Let's play be able to blend to break. And they played it sometime without you. Borderlands 3 is poorly written. I probably have a rant about it on Twitter to explain it better, but all the DLC so far is written better. Oh, that's good. I found it on an accident. Happy accidents. And real guys. <laughs> Happy accidents are reals, guys. <laughs> Wait, are you talking about as in you found the quad stick by accident? That's crazy. Um, it's a console port, so the menus are a bit shocking to navigate. Low key of thinking of playing a no hit Dark Souls 2 run. Ow, you're insane. That'll take you so long to get that right. Uh, I have 27 hours of wow, game time left. That's enough time to buy an expansion and do the first few bits. DJ? <laughs> Drama, Craigasm. Oh, Prince. Hey man, how you going? I'm there's a tiny goblin next to me. Hello, tiny goblin. <laughs> oh jeez. Uh 
disappointed. This is the pointy. I need my. I know. I know, Prince. I know. I know. I've, I've got. I've got a couple that I need to do, and I haven't found time yet. So that'll probably be a tonight slash tomorrow thing. Um, usually my days off. Uh, they're the days I go and do some stuff. But uh, <laughs> also, you almost got me with. You almost got me with the surprise, by the way, Al. I because I was reading higher. Quad stick is an evolution of an old mouth stick I saw in a good game once, where they did a special on kids playing while in hospital. Yeah, there the, the iterations we've seen of them. There's quite a few different ones, but yeah, you doing all right, Prince? By the way, you can chill with me. We're we're uh, I'm just uh, I've just escaped the moor, which uh, is apparently is where the souls of the damned go to eternally. Um, and I left all like Anduin, Thrall, everyone, all the NPCs. We've come here, which is somewhere new and strange, and we've never seen anything quite like this. I wonder if these are each of the, the different realms. Because there seems to be four of them. So there's a red one. I don't know what red is. There's a purple one. Um, that looks like the moor, I would assume, with all the darkness. And the green one, which is probably, like, the life one. So. All right. Let's explain. This expansion has us split into four realms. Um, the Moor, which is where we just came from, is seems to be a realm of just pure darkness and like evil. Um, Revendreth, Ardenwald, Bastion, and Maldraxxus. These are the four regions that keep balance of the undead. Um, and so we have vampires, fairies, uh, angels, and uh, necromancers, basically. Um, there is this tower, which I don't really know much about, so Ouroboros, and there's an Arbiter, which figures out, like, where everyone goes, um, and they sort where your soul goes, and if you're garbage and you don't work in any of the four, you get thrown into the moor, and you get used as energy for the, for the cosmos. That is as far as I know, um, how this system works, but there might be more to this. It might be all the lie. Just chilling and, uh, trying to be horny, it helps. Horny always helps. Gone through so many transformations. The more is an Xbox Live X. <laughs> oh, I just want to be happy. So the architecture is also interesting. So, still in WoW rant territory, and this is my chance to get on a platform and just talk at you about games. Because fuck you, I like WoW. Um, <laughs> more is an Xbox 360 Live arcade game, not a WoW zone. Bastion is also a game, and also the Arbiter is the red dude from Dragon Ball Z. Red dude from Dragon Ball Z? At Snake Way? Or Hades? <laughs> I'm so confused, CJ. Anyway, we're a stranger in a new land. There seems to be Robo men here. And they were going to attack me. The are they Robos? Or are they people in armor? They look like robots. We must bring them to the Overseers at once. Come with us, stranger. Right, we're going on an adventure. Very big. They kind of remind me of a. They, I think they're using the um, the Valkyr, uh, not Valkyr, the Vicruel uh, armor, uh, skeleton. Oh my god! Oh look, it's floaty people. Oh, this must be the you know that being I saw. That being must be the Arbiter. The more shuddered for a moment. As if reacting to some change. What are you guys? To be certain. What can it mean? Overseers. Is that a row but? What? I, <laughs> I don't know what that is, Brit. <laughs> Alright, so this is why this is a big deal. We ain't dead. We ain't dead yet. Oribos welcomes you. This is an overseer. So, okay, the reason why this is such a big deal for WoW players is um, in WoW universe, we've known mostly everything we've ever interacted with. We know what we've... We know the world we are. We know the worlds we're going to. We know interactions. We've had past interactions. We know so fucking little about this place. This is, this is the first time in World of Warcraft's history that we're going to somewhere we have never seen before we know nothing about this place this is the first time where we're having a fantasy situation where our characters are exploring essentially the complete unknown 
and that's why it's kind of interesting and I am excited for this expansion um, there will be references to the previous game but it's it's going to be just different it's going to be a different experience souls within were sealed away for all eternity. This mortal's escape might mean the prison is weakening. If true, the banished one could... God That'd be the jailer. Kosher. Purpose be praised. At long last, the Arbiter has stirred. What? Who's the Arbiter? News Wondrous bring? news, honored voice. Mere moments ago, there was a disturbance at the boundary of the... So these are infinite ones, by the way. Everyone who exists in this can't die. So that everyone here just lives forever. But where? I don't know, are these floating butts? In little dresses? Surely presence here serves the purpose. If the Arbiter reacted to their arrival, perhaps they... Are the key to waking her. This guy's in a guild called Ape Escape and his name's Kanye Blessed. <laughs> of such an audience. They may prove to be an agent of the jailer. It is the arbiter. I think I'm guildless actually on this character. I'm guildless, look at that. Not ours. I will bring this mortal before her. With her voice have I spoken. Blessed be her voice. Trust Blessed in the purpose. Be her voice. All will be judged fairly. I pray the I'm kind of just taking in this world at this moment, and by the way. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Jesus. That's a big bitch. Holy crap. It's huge. So I feel like where I was wanting to do this for a bit is uh, in, like, present us larger beings of existence, which is pretty cool. Look at these floating things. <laughs> you horny for big ghost? Apparently it's a female as well, they're saying she. That I may show you. Huh? Oh. That scene? Enchanting Cocustral music. I love that we've described it as enchanting. The Shadowlands was in perfect. I've never seen this cutscene, by the way. This is the first time we're seeing some of these. Afterlives. With Oribos, the eternal city, as the shining heart. Every mortal soul came before the Arbiter, and she, ever wise, experienced all that had shaped a soul in life. With this knowledge, she consigned every soul to the afterlife it justly deserved. Until... A red star? Whoa! Okay, the red star, that's interesting. Oh, this is what broke the machine! Oh, we have the answer now! And it all goes straight down, okay. ...is denied its rightful afterlife, and instead is damned to the inescapable torment of the Maw. Right. And then the fire lands attacked. Now kind of was. souls rich with anima travel only to the Maw. We have tried everything to stop it. To awaken our blessed Arbiter. To no avail. Without anima, Drought has gripped the Shadowlands. The afterlives have grown isolated. It's the name of the short stories. Fear and uncertainty haunt us all. 
Okay. Ah. All the dialogue. It's hard for me to talk over because I need to explain some stuff. I fear he may grow strong enough to break free from the maw. It is said he is filled with hatred for the Arbiter. If he strikes her down, it would bring the end of everything the First Ones made. This place they seem to know, they openly talk about the First Ones. So this place has existed for eternity. And they've remembered the First Ones. Okie dokie. Alright, time to recap a little bit or talk, go backwards a little bit. So, before the expansion came out, we knew about the fact that the Moor was taking all the souls. We did not know why. They talked about how this expansion would be expressing the idea of the machine of death being broken. We had no idea what the fuck that meant. Um, seems to be the machine really does... Just, it is the Arbiter. We don't know why she is no longer doing her job. She seems to be unconscious and barely functioning. She responded to me coming here, but that was about it. So all these souls that are meant to be sorted into the four areas dependent on how their bodies were or how their spirit is are meant to be sorted into one of four areas um, depending on how you've lived your life. However, and it's meant to be a distribution of anima which is the energy of your life force which allows existence to go on to continue life and everything like that. But it broke broke because the Arbiter is no longer doing her job and sorting everyone to where they're supposed to be. So everything is going to the Moor. The Moor is the jail or the jailer. A creation, this being that we don't know who he is but he's immensely powerful. It is possible he is a first one. Creator of the universe and he has been locked away and he wants freedom and he seems to uh, have hatched a plan which seems to be a uh, Taking down the Arbiter, having all the fun power and anima funneled into him so he can be free. Um, but, yeah. So, anime is your life force in WoW. Anima. You sound like you're reading a script. I'm not reading a script. This is just off the top of my head. Um, so, thing is, uh, there was a moment there during that cutscene um, where is a, there was a red star in the sky. Um... Uh, there was a red flash and that hit the Arbiter and we didn't know what that was. There was a red star that appeared post Legion in ex two expansions ago. After Sargaris was defeated and sealed with the Titans, a red star started to be shining in the sky. And over the course of Battle for Azeroth, it got brighter and brighter and bigger and bigger. I pointed it out when we were last, uh, I last streamed this. Still don't know what it is. Really, really, really don't know what that is. Could be Illidan. It could be some other force. But that light that hit the Arbiter was a very similar color, which is interesting. I assume this is a complex story. Oh, Wheeler, you don't know the half of it. This is a game that's been going on for 16 years, and the past five years have been leading up to this point. The last three expansions have been leading us to come here for whatever reason. Um, to expand the universe. The universe went through a massive scope in size. We went from battling on little worlds with a, like a force that tried to take down individual planets with beings of power versus now we might be fighting entire planes of existence. We might be fighting the literal underworld that everyone who's ever died, we might fight all of them. Like it's the scope creep of lore in WoW is so huge now. It is now going to be comparable to things like D&D &D and uh, more open world universe building. So, sound like you're reading a script. I do appreciate. If, I, if, I'm, if I'm coming across coherent at least, I'm hopefully that's good. But yeah, I've, I've consumed a fuck, total, fuck ton of WoW lore, so um, it's a lot, of, uh, a lot of regurgitation here. Bulgin somehow maybe saw this happening. <sighs> Bulgin's an interesting story. Um, there's so many little bits and pieces that led to this moment. And... Uh, Bulgin handing over the reins to Sylvanas, who's 
very likely the plan of the Jailer, the Jailer being Whisper to him, which means the Jailer has had enough power to interact and influence the real world for a long time. I know quite a few things that are spoilers to this expansion, because I've actually done a bit more extra research, but there is a high chance that we already know of some, why some of this stuff has happened, and who was the ones causing this. Um, yeah. <laughs> Welcome back, NC. Sorry, I, I had to go on a wow. Well, I had to go on a law rant because this this is really fucking big shit happening. All right, I'm ready to return. Fighting the underworld, weak as fucking uh, weak as fuck. Fighting heavenly figures and gods. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Riku <laughs> Of all the times to raid me Oh my gosh Well um Well everyone here is now going to experience Very nerdy shit How are you all doing? Hey everyone Really funny Now do I have to play WoW later now? Thank you for the follow uh, Sundari Tinkerbell How you doing ma'am? What were you doing today? Were you, were you doing more of your art stuff? Were you playing around? I assume uh, you guys, in my chat at least, all know Riku mostly. But uh, if you don't already follow Riku, please go do. Wait, what the fuck? Riku, you were um, playing Genshin. I, I don't think I've seen you play Genshin yet. What level are you? Wait, are you ending? No, I'm not ending. I, 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 I little... Uh, I'm midst wow lore we literally had a very massive lore moment in the new expansion so welcome welcome raiders um i'm daimono i usually play a shit ton of different things um monster hunter very much included as if you're coming from riku you probably know what monster hunter is <laughs> i'm a little tiny palico but uh we're playing uh the world of warcraft expansion it literally just came out uh about six hours ago um and uh, yeah, also thank you for the follow, uh, Salu's Wolfdog. But uh, yeah, I'm being a big old nerd today, and uh, yeah, you had it active. What are you, where? What level are you, Riku? By the way. Every soul has its place. He's like also a milkman cat. <laughs> yes, if you don't know what what uh, what Prince is talking about, perhaps you might want to look at Twitter. See, I catch up easy now because I'm doing all the story. You're doing all the story for me and explaining it too. <laughs> no, Prince, that he linked it to. Uh... <laughs> 25? Oh, nice. So you should be able to do a lot of content then. <laughs> I'm level 40 now. Um, I, I think I've got most of the event that's currently up done. Um, I just need to do like a little bit of like extra dungeon work and stuff. I'm, I'm pretty geared though. Um... That, that's that game. That game is mostly we're waiting for the new stuff. I haven't actually done the, the, the new patches uh, story content. That's probably what I'd need to do. But I have to make time for that. I haven't played Genshin on stream since I first showed it off. Maybe I should do that one day, but not right now. For now, World of Warcraft. All right. So, yes, um, we've been presented to the Arbiter. The Arbiter is now uh, expressed to us that the machine is broken. Well, she hasn't, but her, her minions have. And uh, now we're trying to, I guess, tie ourselves to this realm, I guess. This is the Lich King's helm. So this is what was shattered, which caused the problem to allow us to have come here. But, uh, we're using it for some reason. Oh, a death gate. Oh, shit. Bolvar. So they... They actually came here. I wasn't expecting that. Outsiders, what have you done, mortal? Be at ease. I am Bolvar Fordrag. These knights and I are here to help. The touch of the Maw is upon their souls as well. But if they find a way to break free of its influence, perhaps they can end us. All right, I feel like I need to do a little bit more explanation right there. So, okay. So, something turned out to happen with WoW Law, which there's a lot of retcons that has kind of been happening, or at least uh, uh, expansions of universal law. Bolvar, the leader of the uh, Ebon Knights, um, 
of the leader of the Scourge, basically. Um, he was the last Lich King. Um, they uh, turn out their energies, all the things that make undead undead, caused by the Moor. Um, turns out the Helm of Domination and his armor and even Frostmourne came from the Moor. These are items from the undead world and uh, the energies that we've always used. So Death Knights literally have been using the energies in the Moor. Um, uh, yeah. Turns out that uh, they were able to break free of that somehow and that's very important to this universe. But... We stand together against the darkness. Uh, I wish I could stream Genshin, but when you have to use a display capture of one monitor sucks. Yeah, it kind of does. Yeah, I, I, I kind of agree with that. They're going to redeem Sylvanas, aren't they? She's going to survive this expansion and be hero along. If they fucking do, I'm going to be so pissed. But people who don't, if you haven't heard my rants on Sylvanas and Nathanos and the direction that the law has been going, I absolutely despise Sylvanas. I understand the concept of her character, but as a facilitator and how they've written her makes me so angry. Um, I will be very, very glad to see the end of her. This payoff better be fucking worth it in this expansion. This, already, th I'm very interested with how this is all going, but uh, to get there has been quite the fucking journey and a lot of, a lot of shit stuff has happened. Um, but, you know. Don't worry, guys. Genocide, uh, she did was for good reason. Wow, writers. Get on with it. <sighs> yes, it, from what, from what uh, CJ's talking about is... <coughs> I mentioned before, Sylvanas, um... Wait, hang on. Here, it seems... Death is a power that offers new beginnings. Portal of the Stormwind, Portal of the Orgrimma. Okay, so this is how the portals get established. So these two knights return to the Overseers. Okay. Um, these two knights are doing like mage like magic, but without death gates. That's interesting. Um, so, uh, what was I saying? Yes, yeah, Sylvanas. So she was the leader of the Horde. She instigated a literal atrocity she caused genocide of an entire nation um which apparently was to start the war to get more souls to funnel into the into the moor the power of the jailer so the jailer can be free um which in her mind seems to be something good so she will either turn into a patsy or she's just been wrong the entire time or it'll turn out that being having the jailer free is actually a good thing but that is hard to imagine so the avatar works. I'm just optimizing the setting at the moment. Oh, cool. Wait, so did you actually use it today, um, Riku? I got me a sword. You did? Oh, cool. Oh, I didn't, I missed it. I wanted to see what it looked like. That's awesome. Ink trader, inscriptions. This must be where we do our professions. These guys are cool. Look at these guys. These look like... Wow, look at the style of the flame. It's very cartoony. Wow, this doesn't look like... Wow. Wow. What? Last time I streamed this game, um, I kept saying wow, and then chat picked up on it, and then everything was wow. <laughs> everything everything was... Wow. This looks like... um. This kind of looks like a super giant. Or it, it reminds me of Dead Cells, actually. That's what that flame reminds me of. These are cool. So they are kind of robot people that just seem to be a spirit or a wisp that inhabits these almost mechanical bodies. Again, these are these are new beings. We've never we've never met these before. It's all new to us. You deserve only the best. Come back if you need anything. So the closest we've had to beings like this would probably be the ethereal. Um, beings of just, they've lost their physical form and they're just bandaged men. It needs a lot of work. I mostly spent time on the hair. Wait, oh, by the, by the way, Rika, when I was like, I was going through things, did I, is it, wait, is V-Roids 3D or are they 2D, uh, creations? 
The Arbiter sees all truths. Okay, so here's the bank. They are 3D? Oh, okay, alright. Makes a little more sense. Also makes it sense as to how you were able to do that a bit more speedily. Because 2D, 2D is one of those things that you do have to hand tween everything. Um, and have everything tied to other things. Um, I've just also triggered a thought that I want to talk about as well in a moment. Um, uh, but yeah. That's pretty cool. I might want to have to play that at some point. I, the thing is, I, I have stuff in my mind what I want to do, but... I don't know if I... I, I, I something something more appealing to me having a 2D avatar than a 3D avatar, and I don't know why. Um, gimme gimme sorry, for gimme's. chicken tendies. Be they crispy or from Wendy's. Spend my hard-earned good boy points pleasure. on kids' meal ball pit burger joints. Hey, Rainbow. Um, Alright, these this food seems to be actually healing me an appropriate amount compared to the other one. Um, is the ultimate transaction. I don't really want this place to be my home. I kind of want thingy. So I kind of want... Actually, no, this should be my home. Um, what is he... Oh, okay. Um... Yes, 3D model. I, I probably would prefer a 3D model than a 2D... Uh, 2D model than a 3D model because I'm a weirdo. But how are you doing, Rainbow? We're back in WoW. We're seeing new shit. Interesting new areas. It's a bird in a... Capsule. This looks like ethereal tech. Straight up looks like ethereal tech. What is it? Robo hand? What is, what is this stuff? Tell me what you Reacher collector. You. Is this like a pet person? Um, so what I was going to say, well, what, uh, what that center area reminds me is, this is the funnel of the souls. This is where everyone's going down into the moor. I don't know why they, can't they just block it off and they just funnels everywhere else? Surely they could do that. Um, well, these are cool. Little signs. Um, this area actually reminds me a lot of the Vicruel or the Titan structure stuff. So it's like, so... If you don't know, there was a Titan creation um, that was not Thor, not Zeus, Odin. Odin basically looked in, he traded his eye to see into the realm of death, which is the Shadowlands. And uh, he took designs and machinations from uh, the Shadowlands to make his world. And the Titans seemingly may have done the same. Um, and, uh, yeah, appears that that's very true. <laughs> place looks a lot like that. Rainbow is great. She currently did a down- is trying to download WoW to play with her dad. How is Mr. Mon? Mr. Mono? I'm doing very well. I'm, I'm having fun with this. This is very pretty. Um, I've also had a few rants, which is always nice to do. I'm having- the, if- me having the ability to have a little uh, WoW rants is fun. You are welcome here. This touchstone for spirits that have become untethered. What does that mean? Can't believe that you're gonna be playing WoW. <laughs> the the this, the base stuff is is pretty simple, so I'm curious what you'll think of it. Oh. There's a lot of these capsules around, I don't know what that means. But yes, uh... How long, I don't know, I don't know how long we want to play this. I, I kind of wanted to just explore and experience this. But it's like... I don't know what point we're going to kick into us doing the first areas, because that's what I, what I wanted to do. This has actually got a longer intro than a lot of the others. I suppose it makes sense because they've got to establish this entire universe. If the Moor's influence bleeds into your realm, the balance between life and death will be broken. All you hold dear will be consumed in darkness. That makes sense. <laughs> you wouldn't want death really be able to come back to life. But then again, that's what the Scourge were. Rainbow has no idea what she's doing, but she wants to pet, uh, wants every pet in game. Well, <laughs> what kind of pet are you talking? If you play Hunter Rainbow, you can actually have uh, as many, you can have many animals. 
if you're talking just normal players, we get uh, we get mounts. So I have a million billion mounts. I should really use my Dread Raven. Maybe we'll use my Dread Raven as my main mount for the moment. I like my Dread Raven. Um, and uh, beyond that, we have little pets. So I actually have like this is like my little frost pup. We can name him. Basically, you can have Pokemon battles. So if you like Pokemon, there's Pokemon in WoW. <laughs> Basically, um, there's a little dragon I have. I don't know why I can't summon half of these. Oh, they might be dead because they might be from when I did PvP or something. Where's my dragon? There she is. And collect little creatures, basically. Um, I might actually just put her away. I don't really want a pet flying around. It's kind of annoying. But, uh, yeah. We're going to do another WoW session sometime? I don't know. Maybe, CJ. I'll have to figure it out. Again, I actually... I actually thought this came out tomorrow, so I thought I'd be doing this stream next week. But, uh, yeah. I love why naming her doesn't like it helps us establish but it doesn't like they don't care they have no idea who fucking Sylvanas is it sh he should have established a banshee or a or an elf from our realm known as Sylvanas that's why I always find writing funny at sometimes and they are noble untainted by the law true but it would seem this is the only clue I like these voices, by the way. Has to follow. It falls to us to open the way for them. Overseer Karsher, take this mortal to the Ring of Transference. Use our anima reserves to open a pathway to Bastion. Oh, we're going, are we, so we're going to Bastion first. Voice. We have so little anima in our reserves. That's Thrall's voice Surely actor. We should be more all of them? You want all of them. The battle pets. I want everything. They all have names. Yeah, you can actually name them, actually. I know you can't ha You can't name them. You can name them. Look, you can rename them. See? Show up, name them. Only $60? What's only $60? The expansion or the game? My dad lied to me. Probably, I think it's only recent that we've been able to name him. I don't really usually interact with the battle pet system too much. I, I think it's a bit simple. Um, some people really, really like it. Um, I also don't really like it because they're just, they're just creatures in the world. So there's not a lot that I'm like, oh, that's really cute and I want that. They're just, they're just things. Like example, like this is just, that's just a frog. <laughs> you can just get a frog. That's just a snake. You can just get a snake. Like. Here's a roach. You want a roach? You can have a roach as a friend. You can have a roach friend. <laughs> um, but yeah. I, uh... Here's a rabbit. That's pretty cute. Oh, wow. They updated the rabbit model. Um... Wait, what am I supposed to be doing? Follow cast... Uh, oh, that's what we're doing. Um... I have a lot of pets. Here, mortal. It's interesting, because I get to see a whole heap of the updated models that I forgot got updated. Ring of Transference. Ring of Ring of Transference. So this is the new, like, tele load screens they've been doing. Um, which are interesting. They look cool. The expansions is $60. Oh, I see. Rainbow has a simple creature. She's, she, she's cute thing. She will have it. A frog. You can totally have a frog. You can have a whole heap of various things. Yeah, you want a bear? You can a little bear. A uh, little crystal, more bears, big snake, jellyfish. You want a jellyfish as a friend? You can have jellyfish friend. Uh, blood boil, um, bone shard, spores, robot, dog, tentacle, spore, monkey with hat, uh, tiny tiger, uh, plant thing, plant. Hydra, Dragon Man, Lantern, Mask. This is a very long walk, by the way. I, I, I'm guessing I, I, oh, I was following this NPC. That's not even an NPC I was meant to follow. I was just sort of following it. <laughs> I was too busy looking at things. Firebat. Shh, only frog. Only frog now. You are welcome in I love this bird, by the way. Rockman is really cool. 
but the honor is, I got this with the collector's editions for Warlords, and I wouldn't have, I actually upgraded it because I didn't really want it. And then I was like, fuck, I need this bird, he's so cool. Because this is the bird that you could get from um, uh, the Burning Crusade expansion. There was a dungeon that you could get. I never got it. I've never ever gotten it. But this is like an expanded one, and now he has like gold armor, and he looks really cool, and he can fly. But he's my best friend. Forget being a, a shrimp, I am frog. <laughs> Everyone wants to be frog. They're just sticky. What, what, is, what am I doing? I'm, I'm okay. So we're heading to Bastion. So this is a flight master. Whoa! Oh, these are those portal gateways that we saw floating around. I don't know why there's so many of them. There's only four areas we can go to. What do you see? No, what? I'm level 51 already. From just doing the starting. There's a dungeon that I just unlocked called the Necrotic Wake. What is this? Memory of Deathmaker. Use... Restore the following memory to the Rune Carver. Rune Carver? Who's the Rune Carver? Rampage has 30% chance to apply Siege Breaker to the, your target. What's... What's Rampage? I'm gonna move- I'm gonna move my Heart of Azeroth because it no longer is functioning. I don't have a skill called Rampage. It might be a talent, maybe. What is this thing? I've never seen that before. Greetings. When you arrive in Bastion, seek out the one Curian. So I, I, I thought you would be able to choose. So in previous expansions, the way they got to do it is you actually chose one of like four areas or two areas or whatever to go to. But this one is straight up. It's making us follow a particular location. I wasn't expecting that. Or maybe it just makes us do it the first time around. But this is that or this is that spirit snake thing we saw that we could get. Um, I guess maybe we have to unlock all the paths. Here we go. So this is the new load screen, by the way. So instead of getting you a a load screen that is just whatever, it's we get this cool like little thing, which is is fun. Maybe it assigns you a random one. That'd be weird. I'd be shocked if it did something like that where you're not in control. Leveling never takes long in expansions now. Still, that was pretty fast. I was expecting not to take that. It would take a little longer. Because I've only been playing for like an hour, two hours. All right, so. The way is open. You are a sign of the wind of so, as I mentioned, there's four locations in the world. These are different things. This, again, vampires, fairies, angels, zombies. This is the angel area. This is meant to be where all the pure, uh, pure spirits go. The heroes of the world. The future of Bastion. Angels and Valhalla. Keep a calm mind. So this is where Odin got his main designs from. He got them from the angels from this location. There's our people. Oh yeah, there's owl bears. Does does bear know about owl bears? It is our sacred charge to bring mortal souls to our people. It has been an age since we last welcomed a new arrival. The greeter will tell you more. As greeter? Boomkins? Yeah, Boomkins have existed for a long time, that's true. Boomkin piece of shit. I serve not only Bastion, but all of the Shadowlands. More robot people. The drought holds strong. We must find a solution, Sika. Can we spare any anima for the greeter? Yes. Take my barrel. Centurions will share. Take my barrel? Barrel. Why am I collecting this? Hold tight now. No anima must fall. So yeah, so this is anima. So it just seems to be spirit energy. It doesn't it doesn't seem to be super compressed. Wait, what do I have to get? Oh, I have to get it from other... Okay, so yeah. 
Um, <clears throat> so they're actually uh, running out of anima, which is the spirit energy from dead souls. They get compressed and then taken away. Wow, we're taking it from this thing. That's a lot. Sleepy time for you. Have a good one. No problem, Riku. Thanks for thank you for the raid, man. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoy uh, playing around with the avatar. I kind of I really want to see what you do. Um, I'll try and have to catch one when you've got uh, your avatar active. Have a good sleep. I'm glad you're going to bed. <laughs> I'm always glad when I hear that you've gone to sleep. You worry me sometimes. Anima reserves now nominal. Initializing. Uh, learn more about the Kyrian. My pleasure. Uh, I think there might be a mistake. I have some questions. I'm not dead. I come from Azeroth. Greetings, denizen of Azeroth. We have prepared a number of activities to help you acclimate to your new existence. New existence. I'm not dead. Please visit each station. Also, like, I like that they're not ghosts. They're just blue. These are just blue people. Oh, no, she's gone. I will meet you there. Oh, okay. Bye. What knowledge do you see? Well, me and the raven are going to go on an adventure now. So there was actually a rare that spawned over there, so maybe we should go to the rare? The Vespers oh. of Bastion are no ordinary instruments. Their voices bolster the spirit and draw forth the lingering burdens of one's former life. <clears throat> this place looks really cool. That was the one big thing when I saw this expansion was like, this is particularly beautiful even for the Boyar team. Um, scroll. All deeds from your previous life will be collected and stored. The arc gonna be a big fucking list if it's wow. Countless mortal worlds, as seen through the eyes of aspirants like yourself. Oh, okay, this thing's dead. Oh, I was gonna fight this thing, but it looks like it spawned and then died. Have a sip of water. Thank you, Alex. We actually have a situation that makes sense in terms of, like, you know if you've ever played a video game and you've, like, the same mob respawns over and over and over and over? Um, and it never really makes sense. Like, you just never, like, they just come back. In the, in a place where the afterlife is where you fight and live and everything like that, it's very easy for you to have, um, the same creature come back over and over and over because it could just it, in this case anima could just be funneled back into it and it just gets resurrected um step into the pool friend passing through the veil can be I'm gonna get cleansed Allow i'm very dirty I'm gonna have bath what is what are these things oh i don't like these oh i don't like these Ugh. oh oh what wait is that? what the like fuck Kyrian, but it is twisted Strange. Carry on with your learning. Okay, so I again know some stuff about this universe that before it actually I encountered it, um, which is the concepts of the lies that seem to exist in these areas. To the first step in your journey through Bastion. While you venture among us, this is like having a seminar. It's like going to a seminar and you're the only one in the room. And so the, the, the director, whoever's talking to you, talks directly to you while you're in this giant fucking room. You're like, Ugh. Who was that? That was the uh, that was the creature that we fought just before leaving the moor. That was a uh, a fallen Kyrian. I don't know what they're really called. They're like evil angels that work for uh, the jailer. Um... They are, they are Kyrian that have fallen off the path or think that the path that they're doing currently is not the right one anymore. And mostly because he, in this area there is a lot of stuff of they are not told the truth. These four quadrants know the rules of their areas and they know of their balance. They don't really know of what exists outside of their area and they don't really know uh, what happens in like say what's what's the more actually for what is it used they all they know is the very simple simple facts the so whatever the challenge Kyrian <clears throat> in service of the ma that cannot be but we're here to shatter some beliefs he must have sensed that i enabled the greeter i will handle this mortal why is this nemesis unit active we can ill afford this anima expenditure Goodbye. <laughs> Ascended one. 
This newcomer brings troubling news of Kyrian in the Maw. We must inform the Archon. A grim fate. But if the Arbiter judge them deserving of it, then the matter is not our concern. These were not prisoners, but willing servants. Surely this merits an audience. There is but one way to earn an audience with the Archon. To walk the path. Okay, so there's the Arbiter, the Archon, and the Jailer so far. As major NPCs. Yes. Well, I guess I'm, I'm going to get confused over time, I think. Oh, look at this thing! He's bright blue. I've got, I've actually got a couple of things that look like that, but not like that. I kind of want one of them. He's very cute. Oh, Hercules showed up. Let's go defeat Hercules. <clears throat> Wait, is he there or not there? Oh, I guess, I guess it was my, I guess my... Tracker didn't recognize that he's dead. Oh, it would have been nice to get that because I don't know what I don't know what the rares in this area are going to give, and they usually give decent XP. So. I had nearly passed my final trial when the drought began. <clears throat> None have ascended since. Yeah, so it seems like there's, there's like, you have your grunt level people, or people are just doing their tasks, which are these How people. And then they, there's the Ascended, which turns them into angels, I guess? Words cannot express what was lost. Yeah, look Wait, how beautiful this area is. Let me show you. The color palette is interesting to this game, because it's kind of washed out. You have, like, it's... You have this nice kind of pastel universe, which, again, is something we haven't really, like, encountered. The grass is really quite nice in this, too. Oh, I went too far. I can no longer fly, by the way. Like, in other areas in the game, I can fly, but... It's gonna be me on my bird today. Jump in my car. What are we supposed to do here? Huh? Wait, let me show you? What are you showing me? She's meant to show me something. But I don't know what she's trying to show me. What do you what do you what do you show? What 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 are you showing me? I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what do. I don't know if I bug the NPC. Oh, this is big boy. Ah, yes, the short of the blue fire also looks cool. I, 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 yeah, I do like it. Words cannot express what was lost. Wait, let me show you. Okay, there we go. I uh, hanging around managed to trigger it. What's this? We are in the midst. Wait, we can do a perspective. Oh wait, he's showing. She's showing me a vision. That's interesting. You done your video editing? An hour and forty minutes of audio cut down to edited to an hour and ten. Nice. You recognize the voice actor? I mean, wow, you reuses a lot of them. She kind of sounds like Talia. I'm about to lose my marbles. What's happening, Rainbow? Travel to Esperance Rest. Wait, now? If this is Bastion's quite small. Look at this. This looks really small. This is an entire area. There's very few flight points too. Seems very very small to me. Like bird deer. Pelagos will be eager to meet you. Who? Oh, is there any mail? Do I have any mail? No mail. No mail here. Uh, there's a shadow over there. Clea, thank the, the Archon. Strong. Pelagos we began the ritual without you. Alright, gonna get some gear. That fool. We have little time. Alright, here we go. We need to fight again. I've been trying to log into the family Microsoft account for like 15 minutes. Another passwords work. That sounds right. 
Welcome to welcome to technology and passwords. Well, this is going to be easy for me because I've got I've got good AOE, so I can just I can just rage up and just go nuts. I'm also kind of geared, so start of an expansion is usually easier, depending on how much you've done in the previous expansion. Um, usually a bit easier. Oh, that actually got close. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah, uh, no. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, what the fuck is this? What is this? Oh, that's just straight up a resurrection stone. Weird. Okay. Vesiphone. So, oh, look. We become like a little spectre when we're dead. That's cool. I wonder if that happens in the real world too, because this is... So I, I'm currently dead in the realm of the dead. <laughs> so this is new. All right, I probably went overboard there. I'm not as tanky as, uh, say, my death knight. I don't really care dying anyway. It's not like there's anything downside to it. All right, let's just try and fight properly. These things do actually kind of hit hard. Maybe that's why they level you once, to put you out of range of items. Your ghost is different? It is. If, if, I wonder, I wonder, CJ, if that happens to everyone, or if that's just the fact that you, this is what you look like when you're a ghost in this realm. These are called clinging memories. Someone was being purged of their memories, which brought a whole heap of, like, dark, horrible shit. One thing I will say about, like, Warriors and Rogue, I still get annoyed that I can't, I just can't do healing attacks all the time. What was that voice? That that this thing made a really fucking weird voice. All right, we just punched this boy. Your yeah. failure is a stain on your soul. Is it? A training partner? Oh, it's straight up no. his. No. I must not give in. So this is his voice. He's got a weird voice. Have you read anything interesting? Oh, that was too close for comfort. Thank you. I feel much better now. Bring your kid to work day when they recorded that. Yeah, he's got a very like high pitched voice. I wonder what the armor will look like in this, I don't actually know. So one of the things is um, there are the four covenants um, which in this expansion, which allows you to, uh, I guess, you choose, you choose the four covenants, one of your four covenants, and you'll get different armor and you'll get different abilities and you just pretty much you will be making reputation and working together with them. And um, uh, We'll get a different aesthetic based on which area, which one we decide to work with. But I was wrong. Wow, look how much smaller he is than her. <laughs> Why are you small? Greetings, my friend. You are a sign of the winds of change. All right, we got our first piece of new armor, which is level ninety. It's not even my level. Looks good though. Must we walk? I am fairly fatigued after my trial. Consider it part it is of your honor. training, my friend. Trust the process. All right, these two are going for a wonder. I mean, Elysian Thread. 
Now we just need to get a kill save mobs. So yeah, I mean, I feel like we're kind of into it now. Like, I feel like I've still got a little bit to go before I actually get to the major town. I didn't realize that. And I don't know how long that's going to take, but um, yeah. This is, I think we're now in the midst of it. This is now we're in the WoW. We're doing quests. We're like getting gear, leveling up. But uh, yeah, this is um a pretty good way to start an expansion. I feel like the establishment of the lore and the world is a lot better than they've ever done in a long time. And uh, kind of, kind of happy about this. Um, no path available. Fuck you. He can find a path to me. If I can't, if he can't find a path to me, I can find a path to him. Um. But yes. Uh. At this point, this is when you dive into WoW, and it is WoW, and we will see various areas and stuff like that, um, as time goes on, but, uh, I don't know if I'll play more of this on stream per se, um, because this feels like, again, I've, I've talked about this before, this still feels like a funny thing to have play on stream, um, unless you're playing with, like, your guild and you have a little community that you've built up, and it's like, I haven't done any of that, I literally don't have a guild anymore. Um, to play this with. I haven't played properly with people in a, quite some time. But, uh... Yeah. Just for, for checking it out. I think this is, like, a good amount to check out, in a sense. I've given up on life to play Minecraft. <laughs> I can't get over how many of you guys have mentioned to me to play Minecraft on stream. That, would, again, is the thing that will probably bring out a lot of people to play. I wish I had less buttons or more buttons to press, sort of thing. Because I I, need, I have an extra slot here, and it's 45 seconds on Warbreaker. Like, Warbreaker, I don't know what's my alternative. Let's have a look at my alternative. Warbreaker, when Sweeping Strike ends, you your next Whirlwind, um, or Cleave. So I probably could just put that into my rotation. Because it's 45 seconds, which is pretty good. But really, it's meant to be used like this, and then I do this. And things just die, because Warbreak adds uh, Shattered Armor. These cloud things suck. <laughs> but yes, these are new. Everything's pretty shiny and new in this game right now, so... I might die here. I might die here. I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm so close to death. I need to push damage. Come on, come on, come on, go, go, go. Oh my god. I'm meant to be healing between combat and I'm not. <laughs> uh, that was fun. I almost died. Monk has so many buttons to press, and I don't want to press the same one twice in a row. Yeah, I, I think that they've reduced it. The rotation being, like, a spamble set of about six buttons is funny. It's just pretty universal now across most classes. Um... But yeah. I feel like maybe we go a little bit longer. Should we go a little bit longer? It's currently 2.20. Because if I go, like, I could do three hours of Monster Hunter. I could just play this, that's the thing. But, uh... I don't know if people want to see that. I don't know if... Uh, I feel like it's pretty... It's one of those things where if you play a game like this on release, um, there's so many people playing it, everyone wants to play it, they don't necessarily want to watch other people doing it. But I think it's just a nice little time capsule to do. Um, what does she actually want me to do? He wants a gift for an acolyte. All right, we're riding on this thing. We're gonna go on an adventure. Um, yeah, people would want to be playing it more so than showing it off. But I think I think this is a nice thing to show off, and it's it's like a nice little time capsule of like, hey, remember when this game came out? But uh, yeah, I might do a cheeky two hours of WoW tonight after dinner. 
Are you actually going to get the expansion? And there we go. There's the thing that will be replaced. Oh, no, it won't. It almost replaces the Heart of Azeroth. The Heart of Azeroth lies dormant while the link to Azeroth is severed. So I can still use its stats. I just can't use it as uh, it doesn't have the ability and stuff like that. So Does that mean if I go to back to Azeroth, I'll get back the, the thing? Oh, this person's got like a cool fox thing that came out free thingy. And then he also has the armor that's from this area. Here's another angel. Catch you up. Yeah, I got a friends who are playing and have been bugging me. I think they need me to tank. Well, I've been a tank for a very long time. What the fuck is this? Champion of the Horde. Oh, so this is my memories. Wait, is it my memories? The Horde and the Alliance are working together to fight against these eternal jailers. <laughs> as well as a monk, I can fill whatever gap is needed. That's true. That's the Scourge. Oh no, I, didn't. <laughs> I was trying to heal off one of them. Except good single target damage. Surely you have okay single target damage. Can't be that bad. Champion of the Horde. Oh, it's we're going backwards. So we fought against the Horde. So the pe so we're kind of going backwards in time here. This is like probably the BFA stuff. Nice thing about the warrior is that you just can keep moving. Fascinating to have seen so much in so little time. Did I not tell you? This one bears promise. Bear promise. Fuck you. I uh I I I'm, I'm an hands? insane hero in this world. Do you think they will truly be able to help us? That is up to them. First, let them see. Apparently a mob over here, a rare just spawned. See if we can try and get it. No, looks like we missed it, maybe. I welcome you. Wait, are we gonna fight this turtle? Yeah, we're fighting a turtle now. It's rare, but it's not an elite. Whoa! Okay, alright, hang on, I wasn't paying attention to the... Alright, actually, this thing hurts. You hurt. You hurt me. Shell break? I might die here. Yeah, we might have to jump away from it. I'm gonna try and bait it out as long as I can, because there's other people fighting it. I shouldn't charge at that. This is why warriors kind of suck, because if we don't have, like, thingy... Oh, what? Oh, I've got a one-handed mace. Lame. What does it look like? That's alright. Um, we can't heal ourselves in combat, so I do have a bit of an issue of, like, if I need to do something... Like, if I need to fight something that just wants to beat me down... You're not in that world anymore. Nice turtle model. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the crystal one, isn't it? I was originally a boss, I think. What can I do? Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Did you make a list? oh no, the owls talk like this the, the thingies. I would hear you. Good. I found you some help. Hang on, so there's something over this way. I'm trying to head to all like the rares and all the things in the world. It's worth to collect them. 
But then again, I might come way this way anyway. This thing? What is this? Removes friendly target poison. What? Duration, one a day. What? Why would I want that? That guy's leveling in Brewmaster spec, interesting choice. I mean, I, I, I'll be honest, I have done that before too. Oh, thank you for the host, Prince. Thank you, ma'am. Chilling out. I promise I will get you the milkman sorted. <laughs> so, um, I was actually debating Prince whether or not I should, uh, I should probably do some Monster Hunter today. I'm not feeling it today. I don't know why. Um. What is that? Something's moving and coming to me, maybe? Defend the Animer Extractor, okay. That's a big boy. Oh man, he's wonderful looking. I love this. If I was a hunter, I'd totally catch this. This looks amazing. Oh, they've changed they've changed uh, Battle Shout back to uh it lasts an hour. That's that's good. So this is a three minute cooldown. Uh, Rally and Cry. I kind of feel like I almost kind of want to do a reverse here. Instead of playing Mon Hun, is maybe playing um, a strange surprise after this. I kind of like the idea of ending with Sage Surprises. I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm kind of torn where it's like I want to play Mon Hun, but at the same time I want to play other stuff. It's always the hard part. Condense Anima Mote? Oh, here we go. Nice. Yes, that's what we were doing. It looks like Brewmaster is the recommended spec at the moment for leveling at Shadowlands. That's weird. Why? Is it for mass pulling? Usually that's the reason why you do that. I haven't seen a lot of mass mob encounters though. We've had a lot of individual targeted things. Unless they're suggesting doing dungeons. Like I, I could go do a dungeon. We could go sign up to a dungeon. But it might not be worth it yet. What are we looking for? Lilies and blowing viscera. Hmm. These things? And these things. Okay. I hate flying mobs because it's just annoying. The beasts of bastions have shown up. But I think I can only get the loot once. I logged into the account. Wait, the Microsoft one or the WoW one? Good work, Rainbow. I'm gonna throw my stuck at you. The Skull Splitter is the, like, one that's, like, good. But I kind of want a passive, because if I've got War Machine, uh, War Breaker, I kind of would prefer War Breaker, not Skull Splitter. Having an extra button is okay, but it's... Because of how the GCD works, I actually don't like it. I would actually like more autos now. But, uh, I don't know. I want to attack all of them at once, but maybe we'll do that post this. Get that low enough, and then we'll do this. High, survi high survivability in AOE. Yeah, that's pretty much why I used to play my um my what should I call it my uh, Death Knight in Blood um sometimes. So I just gather up all the mobs and I just let friends AOE it down. Please stop telling me about that. Please stop telling me about that. Sometimes mods are a little annoying. They're very helpful for being efficient, but then sometimes you just like... Yeah. Microsoft one, you'll do WoW tomorrow. Well, I trust that Rainbow is uh, smart enough to limit your how much you play this game. 
because this game can be a massive, massive time sink. So big. It's it's always one of those things that it's funny because WoW is now a game that I have to describe people, uh, suggest to people in limited quantities. Like I have to be like, okay, so if you're gonna play WoW, know that you should probably like play it in this style because uh, you might play like this. Because if you do, you're just gonna fall into a massive hole and never be able to climb out of it. And um, uh, there's friends of mine that are completely terrified of the prospect of this game now. I'm glad I don't get Smander going in water. I forgot that that was a thing. Uh, down here. But there's a degree of this game which is kind of just autopilot-y where you just like, you can kind of see I'm just kind of doing it. Um, I'm not reading quests or anything like that. It's like everyone writes, I know there's all this quest dialogue that should be uh, like understood and read and all that sort of stuff, but like at the end of the day, uh, like there's a lot to get through. Like if you were to read every quest text, you'd be taken forever to play WoW in a game that already takes forever to play. Genki! Hey Genki, how you doing? Thank you for the raid. What are you doing today? If you could tidy up a bit, I will have this forge lit in short order. What were you playing, man? You were playing? Fortnite. How was Fortnite? I saw that people were talking about Venom is in the game now, so people are like looting up Venom. Which is great. What am I doing here? You're in the wrong covenant. I didn't get to choose. I literally just got dropped off here. I don't think I'm in a covenant yet. You might have to do like a starting area for each of these ones and then get to choose later. You were finishing the battle pass and you got Venom. Oh, cool. Oh, so you have to do a battle pass to get Venom. I'm just helping out here. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'll be honest. I've sort of stopped paying attention. I seem to be just helping the souls of this universe right now. This video is sponsored by Way Hey Chris. Um Hello. There's the other one. You're playing with weird fake angels? You mean the the real angels? These are actually the the correct angels of this universe, ironically. I'm going to do with the forge. Talk to this Places to be. Open vent. Oh, okay. Open vent. Add fuel to the forge. Add fuel? What fuel? Are you a fuel? This is fuel. I thought I'd actually have to do a mechanic there, but it was just straight up like... Open the vents and then do that. Too hot, make the vent better. Open one up, please. Open a vent. event. Okay, so they've got a weird balancing mechanic thing here that I've never seen before. This is strange. This is like a weird progressive thing. Oh no, we need to add a heap. We need to add a heap. Add a heap. I know, I'm adding a heap. I'm literally just spamming it out. Got to keep it in that sweet spot. There we go. Hold, hold the heat steadily. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I was concentrating. The fake vampire people uh, go bad with the undead or vampire. I feel like everyone's gonna go fucking bad in this. It seems like there's a lot of things that's wrong in this universe. Is the most delicate part of the process. Now they are too uh, Eiffel Tower 65 to be angels. Oh my gosh, what a reference, Genki. Venom isn't a battle pass, it's a premium skin. Ah. Is Shadowlands fun? I, I like the intro a lot. Um, it, and then it just turns into WoW. So we're, we're pretty much in the WoW part of it now. We're, we're learning about the universe. There is like elements where it kind of feels like other games right now. But uh, yeah. Nice. Bye. Come back soon. See ya. 
Yeah, I probably won't be... I don't know if I want to play this too much longer. I was like, maybe if I'm feeling this, maybe we'll play lots of it. But I don't know how much I'm feeling this is a... Oh God. A stream game. I see you have earned the Forge Light's favor. My ear is yours. Good time to put your new armor to the test. All right, so this is my new armor, by the way. This is what I look like right now. I've had heaps of people suggesting a heap of, like... Hello live like uh sound effects of recent. Kill this thing. We fight this angel man, and he's now defeated. Because this person was already fighting him. The training protocol is completed. This combat sequence ends. Archon guide you. Ah. At which temple do you train? Honor. We seek the silence. Oh wait, I'm fighting both of them. Okay. We're gonna fight we're gonna be fighting a lot of people. Staticus. Straticus? Straticus. Hey strawberries, how you going? I don't know if you I saw you earlier. I feel like you've only just joined. Squish that cat. But yes, it's a squish that cat. Hey strawberries. Don't squish me. You all, you all just want me to be smushed. But yeah, this is this is pretty much wow. We're, we're, this is wow being wow at this point. That's why it's like I feel like it's the type of game where it's like, uh, if if it's a quiet stream, and it's just me talking over it, it's it's going to be hard for me to continue with this one. Um, but uh, yeah. Are you a warrior or a, are you a warrior or a warrior? I'm a warrior. A warrior. I'm a warrior. I'm warrior. I'm worried. Is completed. I'm broken. This combat sequence ends. I better eat. Yeah, let's get out of this combat with this thing. Arms? Yeah, I'm arms. Like I mentioned, um, if I if I get given the choice to be uh to do a two-handed sword. I will always choose the two-handed sword. I want a double aspirant, but which I think these ones do. It is an honor. That's why on my on my on the horde side I am a death knight. On the alliance side I am a warrior. Um, on the horde side I am a. Uh, Paladin and the Alliance side, I am a Warlock. I wish I could go back, come back to WoW, but my laptop won't run it too well for streaming. Yeah. I, I, I'll be honest, I don't know if this makes a good streaming game, uh, Genki. <laughs> I don't know how I, how, where I'm setting up. I used 1,380 pocket zennies for this. Wait, what did you use it on? Wait, what did you use? I didn't see what it was. Nothing came up. Strawberries, what did you use your, your, your zenny on? Why aren't you the best alliance that race? Train I? Because I'm a weirdo and I like being a human. Training protocol is completed. But this I have got one of every race. Ends. Like I, I try to play everything. Look at chat again. Did I miss something? Hello. No. Can't see it. What? Wait, Strobies. What happened? I'm. I'm. I missed something. Obviously. I serve not only a Drenai Druid would be a great thing. I don't know if it makes much sense though. Need sustenance? Bandages? The Drenai have never had like a connection to the Earth uh, outside of being a shaman, and their shamanistic ways are a little bit different. We must all walk the now that the wilds are a thing, it might, maybe, but, uh, this person's trying to steal my shit. There uh, I have to be careful, that horde person's trying to steal my stuff. Oh man, this is, this is gonna take a while. These, these are very slow with spawning, and also I can't heal off them. 
the emote. Can't you see it? Oh, the squishy emote. Oh, I saw it. Okay, sorry. I, strawberries. I completely didn't notice the squishy boy. Now you have my squishy cat. <laughs> it is an honor. People try to squish me. That's the thing. I, I didn't even think about that. Like, people can actually squish my emote. Originally, that's what I why I enabled that, because I was like, oh, people could totally do that, but... I have to heal. I'm gonna fight a double here. I'll die. Need a single. Okay. Squish that boy. Squish that cat. We learn from each other? Pretty pretty. Pretty pretty. Come on, buddy. Keep up, pretty. All right, there we go. There's a high, there's a night elf uh, paladin in the training hall. Really? I mean, that kind of makes sense because paladins can follow the way of the light. The light is literally everyone can do that. I mean, everyone can follow every path technically, but uh, it's just not, it's not common to see something like that. Pudding is great. Yeah, I, I, I think a lot of good ones have come from, uh, from Pixie. Snowdog hates that song, does he? Snowdog, Snowdog has an issue with quite a few of the things we do, though. He doesn't, he doesn't like a, a lot of the spammy stuff we do. I love that sound command. Wait, what am I doing? Whoa. Oh, okay. The thing just messed this up. That never gets easier to watch. A necessary lesson in humility. How may I aid you? I don't know why. That, I, I will meet you there, <laughs> I feel like I was more tricked there than humility. That you just straight up threw me at a monster that just exploded me. Again, this is that thing of like our hero is meant to be strong, but it's, we're not meant to be gods. But there seems to be creatures in the universe that seem to be gods. So I don't know. He seems to be getting training during Legion. Oh, okay. That's cool. You need to get some good sand commands. Who is Snowdog? Snowdog is a speedrunner from uh, Europe. Luxembourg. Even Ardenweld is better than Bastion. I actually don't mind this zone so far. It looks. I, I like the visuals to it. How may I serve you? I have readied some items and. That's why it's like whenever Al asks me, it's like, when, when are you gonna do some speedrunning? I'm like, I'm not doing speedrunning. I'm gonna go watch. Go watch uh, Snowdog. He speedruns like four different games at any given time because he's insane. It's, okay, not interacting with that. It looks very pretty. This is this this expansion so far has been pretty pretty, pretty 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 pretty. But uh, it's is my nippies out? No, it's just a weird color. Okay. Um. What? Am I going to? Oh, I'm going this way. Maybe. Wait, what? Where am I going? I don't know where the game wants me to go. Bathe in the cleansing pool. Where is the pool? What pool am I looking for? The marker's over that way, 600 yards away. Oh, down that way? Maybe going down. Um. Yeah, the art team in WoW has always been very, like, very, very, very good. So, doesn't look like we're meant to go. This looks like something else. Don't really know where we're supposed to go. The oh, this is the pool. This is the pool. Yeah. Bathe in the pool. There we go. When pretty pretty sound effect. What? As in free cure? <laughs> pretty 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 princess. Pretty pretty uh from One Punch Man. What are we talking? Kitty! I can't see her name without thinking of that. All right, here we go. You will confront and subdue your deepest memories. So I've already got so many sand commands, by the way. <laughs> I kind of like it's it's one of those things that kind of got out of hand. Like it's funny you look over at like samurais and he hasn't too, got too many, and I, I may have gone overboard myself. But that's what I do. Sorry, I had a spoon in my mouth. Hopefully these count, because this is someone else's. 
But you can notice that the server has a lot of horde, so I'm keeping countering horde. I still, there's way less players here than I was expecting, but it might be because this is on, like, it's currently work time for a lot of Australians. Hello. You must delve deeper. Try again. Hmm. Alright, I just needed a bit of chocolate. <laughs> I was a little hungry. Here into the mirror. The Myra. Oh, I can't. There's nothing I can interact with. Oh, here we go. There is still more you must pull from yourself. Open yourself. It's so funny because okay, so here's the weird thing about WoW. What I'm doing right now, I've done this so many times. The amount of quests where you've literally fought your shadow or embodiments of your darkness or the impurities of your soul. Ah. No, that's actually... This is the moment you must Amelia, why? But yes, uh, that, that, it's kind of annoying in WoW because we've done it so many times. It's like, how much can I get pure? Like, I'm constantly fighting, like, to remove stuff out of me. But, uh, yeah. Nothing beats a ground pound. It's a constant, literally every expansion. I'm trying to think, uh, is there an expansion that doesn't really have it? You're just doing random can commands, I don't worry. I know that's what you're doing, strawberries. I do I do suggest people to be careful with spamming, but I, you're not doing it at a rate that is frustrating. Is it? If it starts interrupting where it's like I'm streaming and I can't really talk because I'm literally dealing with sound commands, then that's a problem. But uh, if you just want to explore, that's okay. I would have you speak. I wish to speak to the Archon already, for fuck's sake. Why do I have to prove myself to you, stupid people? Look at my little outfit. She thanks you for your service. As so many pretty putties. Actually, we get a lot of hornies here. Do you accept? Alright, so this is a thing that's worrisome in this universe. Where it's like, if I accepted this power, am I actually getting power or are they manipulating me? <clears throat> All right, do I have wings now? Spear of Bastion. What? Go in oh, I have an ability aspirants. now. Okay. Eyes upon you all. So, I was actually wondering if this would be a thing. So this is a minute cooldown, which actually is a decent DPS thing. The drought holds strong. We must the find Archon a solution. said nothing of Kyrian serving the Maw? Perhaps she does not believe it. We have but the word of a single aspirant, though one would think that would be enough. I kinda wish I could remove that button, because it's in a shitty spot. But, uh, I'll put it there for now. At least I can access it. They are manipulating you? I've got a theory that the Covenants betray heroes, though Bastion has cool armor. I don't know if that's. I, I don't think it. I don't think it's as. Uh, I don't think it's as insinu insidious as that. There's a. There's a big old complicated thing here that it's whether or not there is a legacy of uh, established rule sets that they are just following blindly, or if there is like the idea that the first ones established um, uh, a essentially the machine of death that if it does start to fall apart. That the first ones have caused a caused a Deus Ex situation, and uh, we can't really. It will be what it is, sort of thing. Like we'll, it will eventually fail, um, or it's something that should be preserved, and maybe that's going to be a part of the decision making for the NPCs in the world. Because we never make any choices um, in WoW, so you know. We are here for the narrative ride, basically. Are you going to raid in Shadowlands? I am not going to raid in Shadowlands. I don't do raiding anymore. I'll be doing, um, I'll do LFR and stuff like that to experience all the dungeons and story content, but I don't, like, care. 
PvP? Nope, I never PvP in WoW. <laughs> I'm a story junkie uh, for WoW and that's about it these days. We will help however we can. What is your purpose? Guard yourselves against your doubts. All is not well. Okay. <laughs> it it's a weird thing to say as he peaced out. Since I was last there. Uh, meet the hand of purity of the temple of purity. The hand of purity of the temple of purity. Watch Noble's videos, it might be less expensive. Yeah, but I, there's, okay, so there's stuff about watching those lore videos that it's a, it's a bit problematic because there's a lot of asso association that they do that they could be incorrect where they establish as this is what is fact. But, um, I, I still like playing WoW, that's the thing. I, I just don't want, I don't want to have to take the time away to do raiding and stuff. I still find RPG leveling quite fun, so. As much as a lot of people don't want to do that I think I think there's still a lot of people don't realize that they do it is this is a, still a good experience in terms of just a fun fun popcorny junk fruity game you and our new aspirant will aid the disciples go in service it's very pretty and there's a big difference between experience the story of the world versus I get to look at this in game I'm in control of everything I'm looking at right now All right, I've now gotten a little distracted and I feel like I should probably stop now. Um, huh? Huh? Where? Where? Oh, it's more of these things. Oh, it's... Wait, hang on. What the fuck? That's a Defias person. Danius' burden. Wait, hang on. Who's this? Is Who's Danius? So someone died that he loved... And, uh, it was because of someone. That's interesting. So this is, uh, so this person's from Westfall then, I guess? Who's Danius? Also, am I still wearing this weird robe? <laughs> Your deeds precede you. Hmm? Who did I help just there? This person here? Oh, there. For the Defias. For the Brotherhood. Those who fall will find respite in the Temple of Loyalty. Until there's, these are very big areas, by the way, because I was talking about it before, where this, these zones aren't very large. Look at how much of this is actually not actually me adventuring around. Like, this, there's a lot of places here that are just pockets of NPCs and things like that, and story beats. Um... Which is strange. Bear your soul to me. When do I get a set of sick wings? You going to sleep now, Alex? No problem, man. Thanks for hanging out. Again, this is this is a what the fuck? Uh, he's just in a boat. He's now so this is a tauren. Wait, hang on. Sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's roll back a sec. So his, is he a Tauren? Is this guy, this guy's got a humanoid figure, but is he a Tauren? He must be a Tauren. Hang on, I'm confused. Do souls become these blue humanoids when they come here? Share your words of wisdom. Huh. If at first you don't succeed, pick yourself up and try again. I am here for you. I think I'm meant to just be clicking on these. I don't think there's anything else. I think I fucked up though somewhere amongst it. I guess the more is the main focus. The map size is what huge from what it looks like. Uh, I don't know. It feels kind of small to me. But... It's probably appropriate size. It's probably because of the fact that they're all spread out. It feels smaller, but... Angel beats can be whoever they want to be, <laughs> I, I guess. So is WoW, is WoW ripping off angel beats now? There's tons of new hunter pets. Yeah, I've already encountered quite a few animals that I've never seen before. This, what's happening? 
Your deeds precede you. Who am I supposed to talk to here? Person? No? Who am I who 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 talk to? Am I blind? Aid the disciple of like is something something. Hello? 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 I'm heading to bed. Good luck questing. Kick some butt for me. I will. I'm actually probably going to swap game very, very shortly. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm stuck in a loop right now and I feel like I need to get out of it. Um, cause this, this is me just playing the expansion at this point. The, the, I feel like we're, I was hoping to go each to each of the areas to show each of them off, but it seems like, no, it doesn't, it's not what this is going to be. Um, but yeah, that's okay. Alright, nighty night, Genki. Thanks for, thank you for the raid as well. I'm back, what did I miss? Not much, we've been just chilling with uh, humanoid angel people and uh, helping them out as we have to prove ourselves to be able to talk to the leader of the angels, I guess. Be able to tell them that shit's gone wrong. There's some bad stuff happening. Whoa, there's a giant version of... Oh, what? Hang on, sorry, what? I am powerless? This soul... Oh, this is a person who became a demon? Wow, she actually became a bad person? Oh, interesting. That's cool. So some are fallen acolytes. Let's pop some stuff. Oh, I have to throw the spear. That's annoying. We'll move them to the spear. Have you played this before, Kale? I might have a look see and see who's streaming Monsana, and then like uh, I might make a decision whether or not I wanna I wanna check that out. I'm kind of feeling a little little sleepy, a little exhausted. Ah, eh, meh. Uh, I think there's something up here too that we need to do. Be a level aspirants. Oh no. I can't let go. It is good to see you. What is on your Am I just talking to people at this point? I believe in you. Is there no hope? We're just going to talk to people at this, this point. Can't be right. Wait. Oh, do they? Oh, some of them turn to bad ones. Some of them. Okay. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna have to fix this. It's been forever since I've seen WoW gameplay. Or so. Uh, I was just. Uh, I was so used to just playing Dota. <laughs> Please, Dota, Dota one or Dota two? I haven't played WoW as it is actually just Dota. Because Dota one, Dota one was a mod for Warcraft three, and I loved Warcraft three's mod. I wasn't really a fan of Dota two. I don't know. It was it was pretty much the same thing to me. I didn't really need to play more of the same thing, but. I don't know what to do. Your deeds proceed. It's really just so helping these people. Am I am I causing this? All these people are starting to fail. Is that me doing this? I don't really understand. Dota 2 is fairly decent. Uh, uh, you played both Dota 1 back in college. Oh, me too. Dota 2 fairly recently, but got tired of it pretty quickly though, yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't know why Dota 2 is like a... I don't know. There's something about it. I I I had issues with its visuals uh, for some reason. Like it, I it just was too dark, I guess. And please, help me. it was like kind of like Heroes in New Earth. Like I I liked Heroes in New Earth, but at the same time it had issues as well, where I was sort of like wasn't necessarily enjoying it as much as I would have. I think if it had a different art style. But I liked the cartoony art style that was Dota. Or, well, because of Warcraft Three, really. Might explain. If you have a look at a lot of the games I play, there's a lot of stuff where it's like I try to go for more real, less realistic, more cartoony. Says the talking cat.
You got tired of the whole gameplay style, I guess. It's just repeating, finding the same route, same items. Yeah, they kind of are. That's the thing. You kind of... MOBAs are MOBAs. Like, they they will differ slightly, but they are, they are what they are. And that's the thing. You, It's some people, they can play the one game type forever, but I can't stay still. So I, I, feel, I feel you on that. You'll notice as I play so many different types of games on streams. Keep your feet on the ground. It's hard for me to do. I don't that know what well. to do. Certainly better than my last cleansing. Yeah, I just played it with friends. Uh, but then everyone stopped, I stopped. Yeah, that's that's a pretty key reason why people do stop playing games, especially social ones. Like, WoW's a good example. I used to play with so many people. But uh, as everyone's dropped off over the years, it's mostly just me. And that's okay. I just play it differently now. That's the, that's the good thing about WoW in some ways. What troubles It you? seems our new aspirant has done much. Please seek out Nicolon and ensure his well-being. See, I don't know which ones I'm doing here. They're straight up story ones and which ones are just side quests. I think these ones over here, these things are story quests. I greatly prefer open world games. Oh, interesting. I'm actually the opposite. <laughs> I actually have like very... Uh, set paths in terms of uh, quest structure and um, story and everything like that and having it focus on the gameplay the choice is yours. but that, that's very much a popular you choice now oh look it's Uther so we got evil Uther now but yes this is the thing that's been happening and I don't know how long it's been happening but if you guys know who Uther the Lightbringer is he was the man who trained... He tr he was the one that trained uh, the first Lich King, which was Arthas. Hey, Selmas. Don't squish me. I don't want to be a small boy. Um, but yes, uh, he was like the... Uh, he was the first Lich King. He was trained by Uther. Uther was a paladin. Uther was betrayed by Arthas. Do I really have to run with this NPC? Why is this a thing? Why have they made a whole heap of these weird running segments? The sight of this I... Ah! Oh, okay, I see. So this place seems to bring out... It's kind of like the Shah. Like, this place seems to act like how the Shah works, where it's like it brings out your... your if you fail... Like, it, it seems to... I, I must report to the Temple of Loyalty! As your doubts grow, as you like start to fall apart emotionally, it seems to manifest. Which we've seen that before. But less direct. I still here. I must endure. This is why we have to follow this silly boy, I guess. Iridia. She can help me. She you must be squished, you must atone for your crimes. I mean, I'm trying to. This world's this is the place that to atone for my crimes. Very shiny blue land. Really do wish that I could have actually have shown you guys the other regions. I hadn't expected it to restrict me from being able to do them. I, I don't even think I can fly to them. I think I straight up need to get the teleporters to be able to do it. Um, I might be wrong. So what I might do after after I hand in this quest, I kind of wanted to get to 52 and see if that maybe was the, the difference. But uh, if I can get to 52 and then that allows me to do it, maybe I can show them off. But if not... Maybe I'll dive into a strange surprise, or maybe we could have a go at Monhan. She can save me. She can save me. You better be able to save him, Angel, or he's gonna go nuts. The seeds of doubt is all that's needed. What is wrong? So I guess we're seeing the two sides of the same coin. What this is meant to be. Pelagos, my stewards. Aspirin, come with me. We will put this to Aspirin. Pain to That's me. Us. I'm Aspirin. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this is definitely a lot more like narrative based in terms of these quests. Like that you you're doing a lot more like sitting and waiting for things to occur. You had to go give some kitty some treats. No problem, strawberries. I'm glad your cat was getting well fed and looked after. Hello, I'll be your surgeon today. 
I, I feel like more people should do the squash cat now, strawberries. Now that now that you're aware you were aware of it. Lay I wanna see more of that. At my feet. Do you know the ritual, disciple? Open your mind. Let the Vesper cleanse it. Look at my dumb face. I, I, why does it hurt? I'm gonna spin. Everyone needs this cute emote combo. <laughs> the funny thing is, it's like a lot of people uh, do have it. Uh, just not enabled. It's actually defaulted. There is only one path for you, disciple. That is forward through this pain. How can you endure this? How can you watch them suffer unmoved? So yeah, I don't know. I feel like this I feel like this is going to be an interesting path in which this game is going to try and present itself in terms of its its lore and everything like that. Like are we going to see like all of this get pulled apart? Is it even going to dwell on that? Are we going to see the work structure actually change? It's like, how ambitious are they going to make this expansion? Because WoW's never really done that before, so... Now, Uther had a pretty good, like, he just had a little discussion. That's all he did. He had a little discussion with this guy, and now it's just everything is just, is falling apart. I like, I've got Murder of Crows, so when I do that, I get little crows that fly around me after I get an execute that kills a mob. Oh, he's fallen. What is the first dungeon, by the way? the only way? Then I will fight another. I cannot help you now. Perhaps the Temple of Loyalty can. It is already too late. They are coming, and I will stand among them. Right, I see. Okay. Psst. I feel like that was meant to have more impact there than it, it probably was. It did. What troubles you? Nothing. I. It's just. Oh, it's it's so it's a chain reaction. So we pretty much got like. Oh, hello. Oh, whoa. Okay, so people from the moor. No, they're not. They're just angels. So this is another case of like coincidental, like we're here at the right time. Yeah, fuck your bell. We stand against the darkness. Let's go protect the temple, shall we? These two were just chilling. They were they weren't even fighting. They were just hanging out, having a conversation. Like, hey, yo, this is pretty sick. This is a pretty cool thing that's happening right now. Go kill that worry. Oh, there's another quest over there behind me. You'll be lurking. Gonna have fun? No, I'll have fun. <laughs> okay, no problem, strawberries. You enjoy yourself. I'm literally about to level, so we'll, we'll go. We'll go check out things after this. This is where I was talking about where it's like you can just keep playing WoW. It's just one of those things where you just can keep going. Oh, what the fuck just did a shit ton of damage to me? Oh, it's this thing. This thing's an elite. Um, alright, well. Is 
uh, let's pop some shit because I'm dying. Wait, 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 wait. Why am I on one health? What? Something I've clicked made me go on one health. I don't know what I clicked that made me go so on one health. There can be no true oh, that's so annoying. I wasn't expecting to die there. So what made me go on one health? Increases your parry chance, reduces da da da. Fight through the pain, ignoring total amount of damage and prevention. What caused me to go to one health? I really don't know. Alright, so we're gonna avoid that dude, because that thing hurt. Oh, I actually do need to fight them, I guess. Alright, let's help this dude out, because he's fighting one as well. We can play this as the help help the randos situation. This thing has so much health, by the way. Holy crap. So what are we doing? We're we're trying to make our way to these bells, maybe? Oh what? Oh I got a bell. Uh play this instrument of bastion, improving performance. Performing, improving your, the performance and morale of nearby friendly players while outdoors in the Shadowlands. May you only hold one instrument of Bastion at a time. What? Huh. Interesting. I don't know, more of these things. I feel like, uh, I feel like this might sequence might actually go a little bit longer than I thought it would, because there's an, oh wait, there's another quest here. What do you mean there's another quest? Also, there's a little owl following me here. Hang on, let's use that bell. So I'm affected by that bell now. I've been inspired. That's wrong. This will be our main encounter. This might actually push us into meeting the Archon now. So now the, the story's actually kind of progressing, actually. Is what I realized. Um, I'm the wrong way. Need three Ascendants slain, which I didn't get one from last time. Temple cleansed. This spear attack sucks. <laughs> Just saying. For a minute cooldown to put that down just doesn't seem very good. Plane, the other one's up that way, okay. Six dark sermons. Welcome back, CJ. I had to fix the toilet and then I really wanted to shower. <laughs> Why are you fixing toilets? Wait, hang on. That's a different... Oh, throw a spear. Wait, hang on. Oh, wait, what? Throw a spear to weaken elite target. That's different to the spear ability. Oh, I've got I've got two abilities sitting on top of each other right now. Ah, uh, that makes more sense. Okay. I was wondering why they were so tough. Wait, hang on. Maybe not? I only have one extra action button. I'm a little confused. Stuff's popping off now, CJ. But I don't know for how much longer. So I might just, uh, I kind of wanted to get to 52, which 
was my plan, and then we'll swap over to, uh, like, back to Bastion, uh, not out of Bastion, and go see if we can find ourselves, uh, a new area to explore to see if I can just go to the other areas. But, kind of feels like it's not gonna let me. I oh, see so these are the Dark Sermons, okay. This is very strange because this is not associated to the light. So we've, we, this is like already kind of like a weird anti-light path, which is what um, the storyline that is meant to already be with the light, the, the light dwellers and stuff like that. But we don't really have that here. Fifty-two. I got die by the sword. Cooldown reduced by sixty percent. What? Oh, die by the sword's been reduced. I see. We need to kill more of those, like, ancients, so, or the, the elites. I haven't really seen too many of them. Join us and be embraced. Oh, this is why she's talking to us. These are the sermons. What percentage are we on? We're on 67, 70%. Help, scary. Oh, whoa, scary. Let's bring that down. Ooh, something really hurt me there. Why why do things keep being taken from me? What I've tagged it, why is it not on me? See, that didn't ta that didn't count for me. I'm getting in multiple situations where people are taking mobs off me. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna have to heal now between combat because that messed me up. Well, hang on. We'll eat and then we'll attack that thing. Oh my god! Everything has such a crazy aggro range right now. This will be annoying if I have to keep fighting mobs and then people keep stealing them. Alright, so it's tagged to me now. So this should hopefully be mine. If it's not, then that'll be frustrating. Also tempted to cut, cut, uh, tempted to grab this and start playing now, but also ass. Ass. Yeah, I'll probably be playing, this will be my game that i probably play off stream for a while. Um, but yeah, I, don't, I, I think I think this will be the extent of it I show off today, in a sense. Because uh, that was kind of a game like, I feel like it's a very good experience game. It's just very comfy, very easy to talk over. But if people are feeling a bit sleepy today, it makes it a bit hard. Eat spear. Where wow, is a KFC game? It 100% is. It's, it's funny you say that, um, actually, uh, CJ, because there's a there's a friend of mine. He plays a lot of Musou games. We talk about that that concept all the time. Like the idea that like it's okay to have junk food games. There's games where it's they're just straight up like you're allowed to just play them and just have dumb fun with them. Like it doesn't have to be you have to it doesn't have to take your full concentration. It doesn't have to do blah 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 blah. It is what it is, sort of thing. I actually didn't have battle shout on, I just realized.
as Creed is your junk food game. That game, the, I mean, Assassin's Creed, I feel like, has always been pretty junk foody. All right, we did it. Can I assist in your meditations? Lay oh, look, they're having like a showdown. Got a bulwark? Our what was that? Is that? Oh, it's straight up a shield. Aside. I would have words stand with aside. We will allow you to pass unharmed for now. That's weird. Clea, take the others to safety. Go. This seems like a bit of a trap. Yeah, it seems like not a good idea. I would know you anywhere. Wait, it's wow patch night tonight, isn't it? Or maintenance night. Normally it is, but apparently yesterday was, so I don't know if we're gonna get another one tonight. Join me, and we may fly together once more. Never. So be it. The Forsworn will prevail. Mortal, to me. Forever in service. I'm ready. I have an idea. Of the taking of the sky. Anime battle time. Oh, hello. Where are we going? We Look at my tiny XP bar. The Vespers corrupted voices empower them. I cannot fight them all, but perhaps we can restore the Vespers while they are preoccupied. I do not wish to kill you, my soulbind, but I will if I Soulbind? Why are you doing this? You know why. You need only accept the truth that lies before you. I will you. keep the Forsworn at bay. Use my hammer to purify the bells. Use and my hammer, bring my axe. More. Oh, hammer. What truth could possibly justify this slaughter? We all suffered a thousand little deaths at the hands of your temple, Iridia. The process of purification is not meant to be easy, but we are better for it. You were better for it. So yeah, this this I, I feel like I've talked about how Wow's writing is a little on the nose. I do feel like it's a little on the nose again this year. Not remember my past life, my family. We must forget in order to ferry souls without judgment. You know this. The path is broken, yet you follow it blindly. I I, I, okay, they're doing the cliche where it's like neither side is really explaining themselves. They're just re regurgitating the same information over and over and over. There's no real discussion happening here. <laughs> Let this end. And it's like, it's to keep the player in the dark, I guess. But it's we just kind of irritating finished. to hear dialogue like this. Where it's like they know they know the truth they know the details it's just but if they just keep saying the same thing back and forth you know this but you're wrong uh okay try to save her all you like she has seen the truth is she oh she's dead killed her you killed her you monster i stand with you here we go Love that. Crush my doubt. Fuck off. Ah, oh, man, I hate lag sometimes. Oh no, that was. Okay, it was. I actually did push it. I was gonna say, did I just get like? I just die. It cannot be. Versephone. So this is the woman that actually was resurrecting me. You were foolish to test a paragon's might. I will know your truth. You're probably going to go for the fairies or angels covenant due to having the best Don't looking armor and come. leather and armor sets. This is just the uh, vampire looks okay, but it doesn't scream monk. I kind of want to go the vampire one because I think aesthetically it's the coolest and I am most curious about their lore, so oh, <laughs> that's probably why I'll do it. What is that? It is an echo of her deepest oh wow, it's just normal looking greatsword. Reveal the truth behind her treachery. Farewell. I fly with you. My hand. You must stay here until you have recovered. I will return for you. You love the fairies play armor? I haven't actually looked at them. 
I probably, I try not to spoil myself too much on this expansion because I kind of want to just experience it in a sense. Um, but yeah. Apparently my armor looks like this. I kind of look like just a tin, a tin plate boy. Bring this fragment You're just a tree. Locus, where we What's the fairy one I've seen? There's a fairy one that's like um. Uh, how do I describe? It's kind of it's kind of like um simple and uh. It, no, it's not simple. It's it's kind of like it's over the top. It's the exact opposite actually. It's like it's just this crazy looking. You look like a fairy dragon, but I think it was like some weird pre-order thing. It takes it takes two weeks to swap covenants. Jesus, why two weeks? That's a long time. You have my ear. I like when they just pick you up. Oh, Smoky. may attack again. We need to warn Heroes Rest. I will warn them while you finish your mission. But Clea, please come back to me. Clea. Claire? Claire. They're bringing back some of the old, old hard decisions. I mean, I kind of get that, but yeah, I guess we'll see. Claire. Remove the factions in Shattereth and BC. Yeah, but they, those those factions were more like a min-max thing. It, I don't feel like we ever had like a visual thing that was like a determinative piece. And the fact that, like, and you couldn't swap them, I'm fairly sure. Could you? I can't remember. I don't think you could. Oh, what's this thing? What, is something on my screen now? I don't know how to get up here. I wanted to get up here to get whatever that was, but... There's also a weird marker appearing on my screen. Sophia's Aria. Is it to do with this thing? What is this? Ancient incense. What is this? Oh, hello? What is this? Oh, is this a you can't summon unless you have three players situation? That's what it looks like. No, you couldn't, hence my example. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, I think that needs three players. Probably why it's sometimes. I still can't get over how few players I've seen. Like, I'm seeing a player every now and then. This is so strange for an expansion. Usually I'm so used to seeing Hundreds of people just going fucking bananas. It might be more worse tonight, but I made you. I am the Forge Light Prime. Forge Light Prime. Do not want to talk about it. But yes. Okay, well this is just going. So we're just we're just gonna keep going. That's pretty much it. I, I thought we would meet the Archon. It looks like the Archon is somewhere in here. We We're gonna be doing this for a while. So I'm gonna go hearth. I'm gonna go check if we can open up any of the other areas because I am curious. But the idea that you go from zone to zone to zone, I'm not. I, I get it. Wow's done that in the past, but I kind of like the openness that we had previously. So we'll have a quick look see. I don't really see anything that I can do to be able to go to other areas, but I feel like we might as well have a check. Also, talents. Um, I have no more talents to actually get, I realize. Is there any new skills we're gonna get? We're gonna get Challenging stri uh, challenging Shout back at 54 and Rallying Cry. We literally are not learning any new skills on our warrior, so there's no new skills in this game. I, I'm not a big fan of that, I'll be honest. What um, so what's this one? This one, so I can't use that one. He's a Flight Master. The purpose so I literally can go to Bastion. I can't go to, go to Ardenweald. I can't go to any of them. There's no way for me to go to them unless I complete the story. It really does look like that way. It's strange. That's a strange choice. What happens if I jump into this? Oh, okay. That's what happens. Thought I was about to die there. And I can't go back to the moor, as far as I can tell either, I realize. We've done this, but we can't get back there. Oh, hello, these people are just chilling. Well, I guess that's that. Uh, 
feel like that's uh, probably a good enough place as any to stop playing this game. I mean, we did about three hours. I probably went away longer than I was going to. Um, but it gives me about like two hours to do something else, so... Um, normally I do Monster Hunter now, but I might have a thinky. Um, I might BRB quickly, and I'll have a think about what we want to do. So, uh, yeah. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, <laughs> again, I know strange surprises could be fucking anything, and this is not what normally I would be having here. But, uh, it felt like a good enough place as any. It was either that now, or if I did it later, um, during the Monster Hunter segment, but... Yeah. <sighs> Bit of a stretch. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. I'm going to jump over here.